Kazuya Mishima wins. Do that. Wins.
I like how we both, me and uh, Betty. <laughs> That's not an introduction. Looked at each welcome other. Welcome to the game. Yeah, no welcome weekly. to the game. That was like, oh. It's, it's I'm odd. Sean. I'm. Well, no, I was just going to acknowledge that we're both on the game. Anyways, we got okay. Jackal versus your boy, 15. A Smash 4, the second in Smash 4 Sonic Legends that are here. They're yeah. both playing each other. That's funny. Yeah, I hadn't even thought about that, right? Because yeah. your boy, dude, I remember him grinding out the break mm -hmm. a lot with the Sonic and actually doing pretty well. And then yeah. obviously everyone knows, well, maybe not. For anyone who doesn't know, Jack used to play a ton of Sonic, especially mm -hmm. in Smash 4. That was the main. Indeed. Has since graduated. I don't yeah. know if he's graduated more than, I don't think he <laughs> likes he, he, as the character as much as before. I think he's graduated. He, he's like in such a different, uh, he's on a totally different plane his than he play was. Is, yeah. His play is different. I agree with that. Everything's different. He's di yeah. He's different. <laughs> he is different. He is um, him. But he's, he's having him. trouble securing this stock. I mean, as I say that, your boy's in a really bad situation. Yep. I think oh, he was okay. trying to go for a ledge slip right there, though. Yeah. Let's let's flip Nair with Wolf. It's so stupid. It's really he's trying to get that. Why did I ask? Well, <laughs> he got. He started rise. that game down too, didn't yeah, he? Yeah, he lost the first stock. Yeah. Yeah. A lot. Of well, it was a really clutch Wolf flash that kind of like got him that uh, lead. Like I'm kind of surprised he fished for it, but he did. You know, when when you do it long enough, you just recognize habits and what players do in scenarios and know that you could throw it out safely. Yeah, that's true. Especially, I mean, I, think, I mean, he'll he'll do fair flash on this last stock because he because he just knows. Mm -hmm. I think the thing too, I like this a lot. He's going cloud second because like it allows him to play cloud more comfortably. Like he has a like, one game lead, and like he can kind of just play comfortable instead of like starting off with the secondary. Yeah. You were supposed to cross slash there. It's weird because like I understand what you mean because that would have been more percent. But yeah. I think it's just I, I, like it's funny the way. Because yeah. especially like you would expect Jackal to like be like, oh yeah, this is homing attack. Like I have like a thousand frames to punish this. But, right. I don't know. Opting for the safe punish, honestly. Mm -hmm. And maybe positioning too, because that kind of set him on the top platform mm -hmm. and allowed him kind of to maybe set up a different situation. But who knows? Right. 
Wow, that fa did that fail look like it like, went through him? But yeah, well, the invincibility from the startup. Mm -hmm. I was about to say, like, yeah. it's the invincibility that allows Sonic to do that. And I think that's what a lot of people struggle with, is, like, timing it so that you actually hit Spin Dash before or after the invincibility. Dude, how does the limit knob run out? Okay, right now. <laughs> I was going to say, like, I swore it was at, like, oh, 20 and seconds. that two-frame, taking that stock. Yeah. Um, well, I mean, like, th that's more, like, look, Cloud, like, can't, like, just snap ledge from that, so, and that F smash is huge, so it, 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 if it doesn't two-frame, then, like, it'll, like, it'll catch you even before you get there. Yeah. So, I think the biggest thing that your boy is doing right now is kind of, like, beating Jackal to the punch right now, because I, this all started from him, like, kind of catching Jackal's landing with a grab. Yeah. And the thing with your, like, your boy is able to play around his shield right now in a way where he doesn't just get, like, up out of shielded. Like, he's able, like, safely and, like, get, get his mix, get it. Because at this point, like, you just want to, you know, like, in these scenarios, people worry too much about getting the extra stock to have the 3 to 1 stock lead. Just get the percent. True. Just keep playing the game that was working for like, you before. I think getting that extra credit is really good, especially at yeah. Sonic with, as a character that can kind of live for a very long time. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Yeah, just just get the percent you can. Don't. It, because you, you you could die like that. Yeah, that and was then, a really and, good dare. Yeah, and then a couple like couple hits and could even up the game. Whereas if you just keep playing a patient, safe game like your boy was before, you could you could end up just naturally like progressing your lead while staying alive. I kind of wish Jack would kind of play more center. I feel like he's pushing against your boy very hard, and he's yeah. kind of just getting punished for it instead of just like abusing Cloud's like range and like bearing. Yeah. I know that's like like right there. He tried to go for like a double jump back air in a scenario where he really didn't have a back air follow up, and in doing so gave up advantage. Whereas he could just like hold position and like react to an option and whatnot. Especially as like Cloud, because you have the mobility and you have the frame data, but that back air catching Jacqueline's jump and like I think this is a case where like Wolf's frame data would have helped him in that situation, but since he doesn't have it, like, he got intercepted. Yeah, pretty much. Almost got the Nair back air there off the platform, but the boy properly holding out on the Nair. Yeah, for sure. I mean, your boy's just playing very solid against this cloud. Yeah, um, yeah, fading out the aggressive landings. Yep, and just getting a lot of those spin dash confirms, and 82%, uh, a really solid lead for your boy. Um... Yeah, the, that was a, a, position, a rough position he put himself in with that homing attack. Yeah, I think he just didn't want to get too hard punished with the positioning, and then kind of kind of greeted there. Almost oh, killed. Yeah, him. yeah. I was kind of surprised it didn't, but I, I felt like. Yeah, if that was old town town ceiling, then it definitely would have. But <laughs> yeah, true. Times have changed. It's so crazy to me that they did that. Times have changed, but this is a Smash 4 matchup, to be fair. It, it is. It is <laughs> this is pretty Smash 4. Oh, gets a blade beam. I thought he was going to try to run off yeah, there. Yeah, I honestly thought he was going to start doing... I mean, honestly, this is kind of Jude-esque in the sense of, like, he is focusing more on his positioning than, like, going for that, like, Hail Mary fair. You yeah. Know? But... Look kind of rough for him. One back, one yeah. definitely up smash. Or yeah, like. I think your boy's starting to fish, which is the last thing you want to do against someone like Jackal. Honestly, yeah, exactly. Or just like against a lot of characters, you have the percent lead. The last thing you want to do is overextend. Yeah. Not only can that just have you take damage, that could just put you off stage and. Yeah. Like, no matter what character you are, you're successful with just dying early off stage. Oh, for sure. And then trying to land with that dare. Oh, and Jackal clutching it out. Mm -hmm. I think it was honestly just him getting really nervous that made him lose that set. Yep. Yeah, he, he panicked a little bit in that scenario. He got his aggressive landing got called out, and then mm -hmm. Jude's like, all right, yeah. if he goes to the aggressive one, maybe he'll go for a more passive landing option, like an air dodge. And yeah. he just waited and reacted and got it. Well, it's really Jackal's patience paying off, mm -hmm. like just like being able to really read a situation, just playing it safe, you know? Yep. And Cloud kind of rewards you for that because limit's always an option to have, and you just can secure stocks that way. Oh, right. Also, dash attack and up smash. <laughs> Pretty much. That character is very, very strong. Mm -hmm. Do you want the mic? Hi. Okay, Hi. he doesn't want the mic. I can't hear you. He has AirPods there. Uh, I plead the fifth. Um, I'm a fan what? of Jude. My thoughts on Jackal is he's a great player, but I'm always aspiring to beat him. Let the commentators work. Let oh. What? Let the, let the commentators work, guys. Okay, we, we're yeah. trying we're trying to catch a bag, all right? We're trying to catch a bag. <laughs> so, so go go go. Chris, where go, is my go, payment? Go, go catch yeah. her as Fox Fox Kazuya player. Uh, 
He was trying to catch you guys with, with the shtick. He was trying to get you to name every jackal set. Uh, oh, he was. Every, every jackal set. He's going to say, I oh, couldn't. you're a fan of jackal? Name every jackal set. I would lose. Yeah, but you guys ruined it for him. I did. All right. Well, Sean, it looks like it's you and me. I'm, I'm assuming. Oh. <laughs> I got oh, wait. oh, wait. Is, is Biddy on stream? I think so. If, if the, well, that's, I feel like, the only reason he'd be leaving. Unless he just is like, I hate you, Ranger. <laughs> I hate you, Ranger. I hate you. I don't think that's the case at all. Sonar Jude, you want to commentate with me? Oh, we got that's top player Jude. Oh, that's Jackal cool. He loves when people call him that. <laughs> yeah, he probably never gets tired of it ever. Ex exactly. Everyone, you would see him, full name, and dox him. <laughs> Def definitely don't. But... Hello. Uh, Hello. First off. So why Cloud Strike? Pretty good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was True. Uh, playing on a cloud on Wi-Fi, and it's just dash attack and up smash are just overtuned. I mean, there's a lot of stuff like well, yeah. his aerials and back air literally does everything for you. Like yeah. name one thing that back air doesn't do. <laughs> I feel like my cloud is a lot better in friendlies, but like I'm still very nervous when I pick him in tournament. Yeah. So I just think you gotta focus on your movement with that character because he has such good movement and just like you can just maintain center sometimes. And yeah. Just, Win the game. Yeah, but this is like like it's really easy to like slingshot around the whole stage when I'm playing, like, you know, in friendlies and stuff. But I just think you have a more confidence in friendlies where you're just like, all right, well, I can just read you and just have fun. Yeah, I mean, nothing matters. So yeah. <laughs> this is Dylan, and I can't. I don't recognize Xavier. Him. So he's the Mario player. He sometimes goes pit, but um, uh, I thought it was Wii. I thought you're thinking of EO. What? Uh, Wii Fit and Bowser. Yeah. That's EO. He uh. Wait, EO plays Wii Fit now? He plays Wii Fit on the side. It's I've so never seen him pick Wii Fit. That's he, funny. <laughs> yeah, I don't know when he does it and why he does it, but he just has a Wii Fit. It's probably just fun for him. I think he just tries to gimmick people. I'm not going to lie. Because I think he just <laughs> sticks to the Bowser. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, I don't know. He's he always seen like a guy that just like kind of plays for fun. So. Yeah, for sure. I mean, he runs hyperspace and just has a good time. He too is hyperspace? Yeah, he runs hyperspace. He's just he's pretty, he's not like a good guy in an SDF. Yeah, he's been around for forever. Anyway, so Dylan and Xavier, uh, or Biddy and Xavier. Uh, this matchup has like always been considered pretty bad for Young Link, but I never really like. It's never, I never really understood it that that much. But yeah. it's not like I'm gonna fight them on it, you know. I mean, they both can do double aerials in the air, which I think is just so funny. Like through a short hop, they both can use like two, uh, two aerials. Yeah. I, th I think the biggest thing is uh, like it's really hard for Young Link to pick his spots on Mario. He doesn't really have chances to, you know, Young does a lot of, like, uppies out of shield and tries to sort of gimmick you on, like, on defense, and Mario's just too safe all the time, and then when he hits you, you die, so. Yeah, um, I don't think Young Link might do too bad, because he does have that frame data to keep up with Mario. Um, but I could see it definitely, like, I don't know how with this matchup go. Like you said, I do think, like, Mario can pressure him in the air a lot better than vice versa, but... Also, yeah, I, Young is a fast faller, so that makes sense too. The combo game is probably pretty, uh, pretty rough. That was a nice F-Smash. I think uh, he's going to try to get this f guard right here, but uh, Biddy's just recovering low. Now, once, uh, once Young sets up that low recovery like that, you kind of have to bank two frames. It's not, unless you have like a Wolf Nair or something like that. Or like a Dare that like, has, yeah, it's pretty or, far below. But, I mean, that's still, like, you're, you're still two frames, or you're like really trying to like go out there with like, a Falcon, you know. Falcon. True, but, true. So, um, uh, Dylan is a pretty strongly to this point. He does, and I think this is the hardest part against like fighting uh, Biddy, is that he sets up this really solid wall, and he has this really solid like offense and defense. Yeah, he's sort of, uh, you know... Oh, okay. Yeah. All right, Sean, I'm with you. You didn't enter today, right? No, I entered HDR. Uh, I just knew I wasn't going to make singles, so I didn't want to like hold up the bracket or anything. Understandable. And I'm really fucking tired, so if I would have flopped... I know, I would have felt bad. All good, man. So catch me up to speed. I actually, admittedly, did not watch the first bit of this set. It looks um, like uh, Biddy. Looks like Biddy's playing his game. He's playing his game. Playing That's his what game. he does. Yeah. Listen, all these new kids, it's it's hard because like Biddy can keep up even if he doesn't play the game. You know, because at the end of the day, Biddy plays his game. Yeah, he sure does. And honestly, man, it, it's funny because for someone who doesn't really grind the game that much, like he's consistent. He's consistent and. Biddy's played a lot of Smash Brothers in his day, so it's cool to sort of see that you don't really forget how to play well. Oh, the bomb just did not explode. <laughs> never mind. Yeah, never mind. He's terrible. Xavier did bring it back, though. Uh, he had a pretty large deficit, so it was like a three stock with uh, 150 from Biddy, and then two stock with 100 from Xavier. Yeah, I know. 
Xavier is definitely a tag I've seen before. I think he's done pretty well at some of the other locals in the DZ. He's, he's a big TCNJ guy. I think he might be the best player in TCNJ. Oh. And maybe he's South Jersey PR. I'm pretty sure he is. Oh, he's a Mario main, question mark? Yeah, he's a Mario main with a pit secondary. But he's mainly been playing Mario. Like, the only person I can see him playing pit for is me. Like, yeah, the, 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 the Mario renaissance these days. Yeah. I, I, things have changed so much because Karama. Yeah, I know. Watching him is so hype. It's like... We have a Xavier fan um, saying how good he is, but Biddy is going to put that in Yeah, he's right going to say, Biddy doesn't care who you're a fan of. Yeah. He's going to dub, honestly. But he doesn't care about your ranking. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't. He kind of transcends, man. He was like, I guess we'll call him the old guard, right? Because there was a time when... an old guard? Yeah, though. I don't even... Yeah, you're right. You're right. Because the thing is, is Biddy was consistently PR'd pretty much yeah. for through Smash 4. Like, yeah. pretty much free. Like, he was just guaranteed. You know you were going to come up in the, come up against him in bracket. You knew you were probably going to lose. And then he just kind of just, like... You know, I started playing Ultimate a little bit less, but, like, nothing has really changed in the fact that, like, everyone knows who he is and that he's, like, good. So, I think what I feel with Biddy is, like, he's the hidden boss, but, like, he's a boss from the last game that's in the current game. Yeah, you're right. He's, like, a bonus character. Like, yeah. he's just unlocked in the base roster now. Exactly. Versus having to, like, not get to play as him. Yeah. And I do think Biddy's, like, a really solid win. So, if Xavier can really figure out how to maneuver around Biddy's, like, wall of defense and his offense, like, I think he can win this. Because I think Xavier can make this upset. Yeah, I mean, he's capable, especially like, like uh, from a character standpoint. You could do far worse than Mario against a character like yeah. than Young Link. Like, Mario has the tools to deal with him. Yeah. Young Link doesn't really have the crazy big range that like Adult Link has, say. I just think the biggest issue is probably because you don't really edge guard Young Link for free in this matchup. So you're going to be probably honestly just fighting him a lot. And fighting him is hard. <laughs> it is. He's got a lot of good like tools at pretty much all ranges. Yeah. And I wouldn't say Mario has like a very weird game, so I think Biddy's like very used to this. So like it's not like Xavier's gonna be hitting him with like some silly thing that not gonna catch him off guard. Exactly. But uh Biddy's not finding the kill here. Yeah. I mean I just know something about Xavier though. He has a hard time finding the kill himself. I could see that, I guess. I mean, Mario's got a lot of ways to just, like, get you off of the screen, but it's not always easy to land them because he's just... He's not a ranged character, but that back throw is pretty reliable, I guess, especially when you're over 150. 100%. Yeah, that's a lot. We might get to see a lot of percent here. Oh, that was smart. I like that a lot. <laughs> yeah, just kind of punts him out of here, but not after taking a, a little bit of damage. So, uh, shout out to Xavier for making the most out of what looked like a, a lost stock much earlier. Yeah, I like how he's retreating with those fireballs when uh, Dylan starts to set up his war wall. Like, it really kind of shows you like that discipline of like, all right, I'm willing to play back. We're both playing back. Yep. Xavier with these reads, I think honestly, it's very hard to catch Dylan uh, Biddy with a read because like he's just such a like he's such a fundamental player. Yeah, he's pretty aware too. Uh, he's, a, he's someone who has played this game a lot. He's pretty just aware of what's going to be where, especially depending on the character. Like he, he knows to look out for you know obviously you play against Mario. You know to look out for up smashes. <laughs> you want to land near him. You know to be selective with some of the projectiles so he doesn't just send them back. I guess this is a Smash 4 question. Was Mario as confirmed heavy, heavy as he is in this game? Probably pretty similar. I feel like you were able to get away with a lot more up smashes. Yeah. I mean, 4 was just a different game like that. Yeah, that's true. Like, you could spam I, things a lot easier in 4 without paying for it versus this game. True. Yeah, Dylan, uh, Biddy just securing that stock at a pretty early percent. Xavier's really struggling to find this kill. I mean, I feel like... If he starts to learn how to use landing up air better in the corner, like his game, his his play is gonna drastically improve. Yeah, yeah, I agree with that. And ooh, that's a like, good, that's that's a good play. Like, yeah. But I think the big thing is he doesn't do the typical Mario things where Mario kills you at 50. <laughs> yeah. And and that's that's what you really need out of this character too. Yeah, for sure. Because you don't want to be killing past 150 like all the time. I mean, the most competitive characters in this game kind of have, like, their cheesy stuff. And Mario is no different. I mean, if you're able to take someone off the top with some with some up air juggles and an up B, like, you, you have to do that. Kind of yeah. mandatory for higher level success anyways. Well, yeah, for sure. I feel like it's just a layer of a character you have to learn. And, like, if you're not... 
Ooh. actively pushing that Speaking aspect. Of like, oh yeah, that's true. That ladder coming in. But uh, honestly, I like the reset. It just sucks that you can not find anything off of that. Well, he's slowly getting closer to the reliable kill moves. You, you know, he's getting closer to up smash percent. Yeah. Uh, I just think the biggest issue, though, is that Dylan can reliably kill a lot better than uh, Xavier. Yeah, two, uh, Young Link's confirmed are actually pretty solid. Like, down till into, like, several things. Not that hard to get, but it's, honestly, he's got to be able to land first. Oh, okay, yeah, nice. Blue Morning confirmed. I was going to say, Xavier was tracking Biddy so well, but then Biddy was like, all right, thank you for, like, cut it. Because I think the big, uh, small issue with Xavier's game plan is yeah. that he's never shielding too much. So, like, if you throw out that one hit confirm and you land it, you take it. That's what Biddy did. Yeah, I mean, I think you're exactly right with that. So that is going to be Biddy moving on. I want to say that, yeah, it was winner's quarter, so officially in top eight now. Ooh, we're in top eight. That's pretty crazy. Yeah, th it goes by quick. Oh, sorry. Who's <laughs> <laughs> good talking to you, bro? Now he's out. <laughs> what happened? Yeah, what are your bracket? Uh, okay, you don't have to then. <laughs> yeah. Wow, you already got a link to his Twitter. Chris, your production's so good. It's a little crusty today, I'm not going to lie. Mostly Damn. because I I mean, this is Yo. like the first one and I just had to like get everything set up. So, was good, was good. Yo. Hey. So, yeah, I had to set this thing up kind of quick. Uh, this week, so there, there's a lot of improvements coming, a lot of new things I want to do yeah. uh, that aren't integrated yet. But there's a nice, there's a nice little code over here. Who's is it? Is that James? It looks like yeah, James it's James's. Code. Yeah. Ooh, okay, Take it. okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Take it now. Yeah, I went, I went like one, two. Yeah. I could have done better, but it's fine. Uh, it's okay. I think the thing it is happens. Tournaments are always fluctuating results where you yeah. have to like understand like your peak and your worst. Are just relative, and they will always be increasing if you're yeah. practicing. So yeah, because I went, I went one and two, but I know damn well that like two months ago I would have like killed someone to go one and two. Yeah. You know what I mean? No, that's good. And I'm talking so. about peaks and uh, consistency. <laughs> <laughs> we have Con Con who hey. attends and either does really good or kind of good. <laughs> yeah. Nah, Con Con definitely. Yeah. Um, doesn't go to as much as other people, but whenever he shows up, it's always uh, an exciting time yeah. to see him. I mean, it's just his roster of characters are so yeah. interesting. Like, I know some of them aren't the most popular Min Min, but yeah. you have Rosa, who is really cool. Yeah. And then you have... Rosa's cool. I respect Rosa. I respect... I think Bayo as well, Rosa. right? Bayo's hit or miss. I, mm. I like Bayo, but at the end of the day... If you like Bayo, you kind of you're like the Luigi archetype, you know. Because <laughs> all it is, you deal a lot of damage and Maybe. you get your gimmicks. Yeah. You know. Yeah, I get you. Uh, but I think we might honestly see either the Bayo or the Min Min because I can't believe Rosa does good against Ike. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna be seeing uh, none other than Eminai, right? Look what they're doing. This is like, I hate oh. this. I genuinely, <laughs> it's not funny. I'm gonna have to make hey, it again. No way. Hey, no way! I no, it's not a thumbs up. It's uh, not a thumbs up. Bro, hashtag justice for I Ranger. I come bro. out. I come out because I literally have like four. Justice hours for sleep. Ranger. Come up from full time work, and <laughs> this is how I'm treated. Dang, bro. At least I'm with Chris. That's all that matters. Yeah, we're we're with the homies out here, man. That's Mike and I getting broadcasted. Hey. <laughs> a little bit left. Left. Down. Down. He can't listen. Ah. Uh, His coordination. No, look. Not there. Come on. <laughs> Oh, he's kill. not even gonna try. That's <laughs> tough, bro. Sure. Unfortunate, sure. man. Yeah, M and I coming hot off of a Marcus win earlier bracket. Yeah. Marcus was playing box Kazia. He's learning, and I think learning is one of the more important steps to like it just you know getting better results. I mean, box yeah. Kazia is pretty much the new Steve. Yeah, like, I mean, yeah. Marcus has a Steve too, right? He does, but he dropped the character. He didn't like True. the character anymore. Um, and then yeah. he started playing Palu. Yeah, yeah, okay. Your character. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. I, I picked up Palu recently. Palu, I don't know what the Palu means on Twitter are talking about, bro. Palu's broken. 
I don't think she's broken, but I do respect that mindset. Like, yeah. I think that mindset's important for a competitor. Mm -hmm. Speaking of the Marcus. Speaking of Vox Kazia go behind me, intimidating me. What do you mean they don't know? They're not they don't know. They're, what is the shape back there? <laughs> I don't know, they're chirping. Who is Onion? Oh. Oh. Okay, sorry. I keep getting sidetracked. All these all these players. Yeah. I think we should just ban them all. <laughs> That's so so real, bro. So real. So real. Uh, but yeah. Oh wait, um, what is this? Subscribe to VGV Bootcamp for Fortnite and I and then get to see you got wow, emotes. Cool. Yeah. Get emotes. Get emotes. And also you don't get the ads that I just spammed. That's I'm sorry true. about that guy. <laughs> I, I had to play them all night and I'm realizing I'm yeah. like I'm supposed to have a certain amount Make and sure I the fumbled, so uh -oh. sorry in advance. I mean it's just hard because you have to time the ad reels like Yeah. Yeah, I'm supposed to do it after each set yeah, and I just uh -huh. haven't been, so I just have to catch up. Oh, I gotta play HDR. Oh, um, I mean, not HDR. I gotta go take a drink break. Yeah, don't say that. What? What? I don't even know what you're talking about. Me All right, neither. cool. See ya. He's going to have drinks right now. That's what. That's what it stands for. Anyways, M and I versus none other than ConCon. There we go. It's uh, gonna be an interesting matchup. We're gonna have Bayonetta going up against the Ike here. Um, you know, ConCon known for having a wide cast of characters. Um, whereas M and I, a bit of a, oh, a little bit of controller issues, but they seem to be fine now. Um, but yeah, Ike, Mike and Ike, M and I is known for quite the opposite, being a Ike loyalist. You know what I mean? So yeah, he always got respect that. He does love this character, and it, you know it's funny. Before Platinum Star ceased to exist, he was starting to get some pretty solid results. Uh, you yeah. know, you, you can't really sleep on him in bracket. At any point, he kind of just. Take you out. Yeah, he uh, definitely he has like sort of his ups and downs, you know. But I think right now he's really turning it on mentally, you know. What I mean, and when Mike is you know in that good mentality, he's really like one of the more dangerous players in New Jersey, honestly. Yeah, it's fine. It, this is kind of like your classic case of someone who grinds the game a lot and just yeah. like so like you end up kind of getting results by virtue of that, mm -hmm. uh, which which is great. I mean, what more could you really ask for, right? Uh, putting in work and getting results, so I'll be interested to see how he continues to do here. I mean, he's already guaranteed uh, the six, I guess, right? This yeah. is winner side top eight. Oh, so. it's winner semis. Wow. Yeah. Okay. All right, Mike. Let's go. Yeah, not the biggest bracket today, but, like, still pretty good. I mean, yeah. actually, it's a pretty good size bracket. It's, like, I mean, it's still he, 30 people. He, he beat the seed by quite a bit, that, that, that means. Because you see, like, nine or something like that. Yeah, man. So, anyways, putting in that work. Uh -huh. And Con Con, definitely a tough uh, competitor to, to sort of, like, test yourself on at this stage in bracket. Yes, he's he, number two. He's got a lot of characters. Like, he's he's got deep pockets. Like, we're seeing this Bayonetta right now, but... Uh -huh. Yeah, uh, let's just say this game doesn't go Con Con's way. You could expect to see the likes of could it be Min Min, could it be Rosa, yeah. maybe Peach. So there's all these options. And hold on, we got someone else on the mic right now. We got none other than Aether. Oh man. Uh, uh, can, we bring the, can you bring the mic a little bit closer to you? Yeah, my bad. There we go. All yeah, we get to us. All right. So here on the mic, we got Aether who just beat me in bracket. And I immediately lost to uh, Sonic last on last day. All right. Wait, was that was that your boy? Uh, uh, no, Nameless. Oh, okay. He, okay. Uh, me and him are on a similar Smash game. So, uh, uh, all right, all right. Um, I respect that. But game, uh, this is game one. Yep. yep. Dead. Ooh, yeah. Unless he tags it. Nice. Oh wow, great tag. Yeah. Right now, I mean, he's looking very solid for Con Con for sure. I, um, I just think Con Con's, uh, Connor's just calling out Mike Habits a lot. Yeah, that's true because you know Mike, he uh, the, the way he sort of goes in, Bayo is really dead calling out. Yeah, right there, you see that jab, gonna clean it up. And yeah, as Ike, I mean Ike does have a lot of kill moves, but it's hard to really like. The problem is Mike's just trying to focus on getting in one stock so he doesn't get completely shut out when he should just try to calm down and focus his nerves. That's not going to kill. Yeah. The main thing when trying to go into a bracket, especially in winter semis, is just to mainly play calm and... It is take it one stock at a time, you know what I mean? The problem is I feel like um, Mike... Very emotional player, but he yeah. he wears it on his sleeve. I, I that's I respect him, respect uh, him that about him. Yeah. But at the same time, 
whenever he does do his habits there, he can easily like call them out. Okay, that sh yeah. should lead to something. The mental game is really big. Um, you know, I think against Bayo in general. But especially oh. with um, Mike being uh, very, like, when he's in a good mentality, you, like, you know that he's, like, going to kill him, but... The problem is, what is Ike supposed to do at, with uh, Bayonetta out of shield? That's true, yeah. No, I think uh, Bayo, see, it seems like a pretty good matchup for Bayo as well, I'll say. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, because Bayo can just mainly uh, out of shield Ike, and what, what does Ike do? Yeah. Now he just kind of... Sits there and it's like, all right, cool. He could try to up B, but up B is both slow. Yeah. Predictable, even if it has armor. And sometimes you can just SDI out of that. So it's not always reliable. Go. We're going to be going to Hollow Bat. How do you feel about this counter pick? Uh, I don't necessarily agree with this stage, especially with Ike. Mm. Both characters mainly benefit from platforms, but with Bayo. She can still combo even without platforms. Ike's a lot more limited without the without ledge or without platforms. Yeah, so instead of having two low platforms, we have one slightly bigger one. It's like Smashville, but Sma with Smashville, it's a lot smaller. Ike can kill a lot easier. Yeah. This stage is a little bit bigger, so Ike's gonna it's more of a medium-sized stage. Yeah. Yeah, right now, actually. Back throw? Yeah. Yeah, Mnot is actually putting in some work right now. He's making the adaptations needed, and so far he has a pretty decent lead. Obviously, you can't count out contact, but wow, that's gonna be a stock. A, a thing that I'm noticing with Mike is that he is giving up ledge really easily yeah, against Bayonetta, true. and Bayo can get out of the corner easily, kind of easily, but at the same time, keeping corner pressure and ledge trapping is very important. Just not with, yeah. it's not even characters. Uh, specific. You, you just it can be a little bit tough with Ike, but you just gotta make sure that you get it done at the end of the day. You know what I mean? So uh, I get what you mean for sure. And, uh, yeah, right now, I mean, uh, Hong Kong looking to bring this back. Uh, not quite gonna get. A kill. I don't think Mike is SDIing either. He's just letting the combos rip, and yeah, he's just building up damage. He's at max rage, but Bayonetta can just gun him off stage. Which yeah. time? No. That's another habit Mike oh, wow. does. Um, with Mike, he does a few things. He neutral get ups, and if he's in there, oh, yep, yeah. nice switch time. Mike tends to neutral get up up B, and I tell him, you need to stop doing that, and he still does it. It's a habit, and a, not yeah. a good one. It's one of those subconscious things, you know what I mean? Um, so it's tough to overcome, but yeah, now Mike. Like yeah. that, now he's full combo. Yeah. Well, and that's gonna be a lot of damage right there. Yeah, 50% now. Um, Mike gonna get able to recover back onto the stage, but the lead is back in uh, Kong Kong's favor this time. I'm surprised Connor does not go Min Min in this matchup. I'm surprised too. But um, the well, main now seems to be working, especially since we're seeing this combo come out. Yep, and that's yeah, forward smash. I don't know about that one. He does forward smash, up smash near the ledge. Yeah. I call it the MNI Classic. Yep, yeah. there we go. That's oh, death. Yeah. That witch time, man. That it, Con Con on perfect timing right now. It looks like Connor hit the last part of the back air, even though it looks like back air's animation didn't come out at all. Yeah. It's a bit odd. There's a silly little game sometimes, but I don't. Um, the lead continues to pile on. Yeah. The only thing I'm noticing Mike not doing as much, he's empty hopping and he's not mixing it up. He just tries to do empty hop dash attack. He doesn't try to tomahawk tomahawk at all. Yeah, that's fair, that's fair. You gotta work on that, but so far Kong Kong I mean, doing a good job at calling out the different behaviors and getting these you know Brad Butter Bayo combos up, off. Fourth row. Yeah. And right now Bayonetta, I mean I don't I don't oh, Bayonetta know. Oh doing Bayonetta yep. things. Dead. Oh no, never mind. That was nice, though. I think Connor's realized Mike doesn't know how to punish uh, Bayonetta fair. So he, because Mike's just jumping. Mike does not know yeah. how to punish that move. Speed. Dead. Oh, I don't yeah. know why he. Oh. oh he tried to style. Okay. I, re I respect it. Probably did a little much. That was disrespectful. Uh, but yeah. 
I mean, this is still a very solid lead for Kong Kong. He's been doing a very good you job. Never, you never know. You don't want to get too cocky here. What the? Honestly, I respect it. Mm, no, no. <laughs> well, if they're DI'ing out. And it's Wait, hold up. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> um, There's a chance. This is not going to kill, but it's going to be quick draw. a back or away. He's just going to try to go for back air and then try to bait and punish with the uh, with his throws. Okay. Wow. He's expecting the... Okay. Okay. Hold Life. on. Anything's Life. possible, bro. You never know, man. Maybe these habits come to Fort his favor, but I that's think Fort gonna Fort is going to kill. It's going to get close. This character uh, cannot kill. Oh. Yeah, no, not much aerial drift. That's unfortunate. Yeah, but... Honestly, a little bit of a comeback for him. I'm not there, but at the end of the day, you know, Con Con keeping it clean, keeping it disciplined for the most part. He, he did get a little bit cocky at the end, but. A little bit. Um, Is it best of three or best of five? Oh, what? Oh, it's best of five. Oh, it's best of five? Oh. Oh, it's winter semis, yeah. Okay, okay. We got one more in the books for y'all. <laughs> <laughs> He's trying to break the fourth on our, card. On, on our Vince Carr type stuff, bro, I got one more in me. <laughs> He's got that bob in him. What can I say? Yes, sir. Let's All right. Um, yeah, are we going to run some ads while we wait for this next game? No. <laughs> <laughs> they're here to watch Smash, and they're not going to watch 60 seconds of hey, ads. Come to, come to relax and Smash, though, as you can see over there. Um, you got some players out there. And then this stream is brought to you by Master Hand Gaming. Shout out to the gamers. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, it's gonna be a best of five. Interesting. So I believe oh we're gonna see some fire emblem music come through. I like that. I guess this is uh power up music. Uh-huh. But yeah, also make sure you all sub to VG Boot Camp. I'm just reading off the ads on the side here. But man, shouts out. Is this stream on VGBC right now? Yeah, I believe oh, so. Nice. Shout out to all my VGBC fans. Shout out to VGBC in general, man. They're cool. Yeah, both my matches that I lost was game three. That's tough. That's just, hey, I'm three months rusty and I did that well. I don't care. That's good. That's good. I love to see that, but we're going to see the counter pick to Battlefield this time. Um, I, I think that's I, I just talked about how Ike benefits from platforms, but at the same time, Bayonetta also just benefits from platforms a lot more than Ike. Yeah, but I mean, I like the little switch up here. I want to change up the scenario just to maybe change up some of those neutral interactions. And I keep telling Mike he should, because trying to solo man in this game is tough, it's especially tough. with Ike. And Ike is not considered a good, that much of a great character, mid tier. Yeah. And we keep telling, we keep trying to tell him, look, just pick up Wolf as a secondary. <laughs> Not, Mike, Mike's too loyal, man. I respect him, man. He's, he's freaking, he's married to Loyal in a way where it's been three months since I've seen Mike. And the one thing I do not miss about Mike, every five seconds he complains about Ike. <laughs> he will say, oh, uh, Ike deserves this. Uh, some of it's sack, um, anyways, satire. But so, so, so back to you. <laughs> nice pair. Yeah, no, I get you, there. but anyways, right now, I mean, again, Similar to last game, uh, Mike is starting off with a little bit of a lead, but let's see how Kong Kong comes back from this, you know. Again, during, for most, for the most part, Kong Kong's been playing very clean with the Bayonetta, getting these classic combos right here, and really holding it down to neutral, which can be hard if you're like, oh wow. Tilt? No. That was a big forward tilt, but not quite gonna get it. That was a big forward there too, but it's not gonna, gonna hold on. It's a pretty solid DI on uh, Kong Kong's end. And up air, yep, there we go. First stock. They got there. And we see Mike oh. with a little bit of a lead. There we go. And Kong Kong, I mean, for as good as he's been playing, kind of been struggling against that up B, you know what I mean? Uh, he's gotten hit by I don't, quite a bit. Because when tr I'm trying to dive into the mind of Connor, he <laughs> just don't, he doesn't think he's going to up B, and when he does, he's just like, God damn it. Yeah. This guy just keeps doing it. The, the psychology of Kong Kong. What can I say? But right now, I mean, I'm not kind of cooking. Uh, well, look, let him cook. Yeah, let a, him bit. Cook a bit. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty significant lead, but Con Con is going to make sure that's close. You're going to be seeing an even stock situation. And 
uh, yeah, right now, I mean, I like the way that Mike has been focusing a bit more on the spacing um, during this game. And, uh, no, bad punish. I think, yep. Uh oh. He's, yep. Now he's stuck in juggle. Okay. Uh, uh, able to escape, though. You know, we've been focusing a lot on Mike, but one thing I do appreciate about what Kong Kong's doing out here, although he is losing his stock, I think throughout the set, he's still doing a good job of, like, taking advantage of whenever he does win neutral. And I think if Kong Kong wants to bring this back, take it 3-0, he's going to have to really clean up that combo game like we saw like in Game 1 and Game 2. Okay, oh, there back we go. Again. There we go. Full smash. Not going to kill, but going to do a solid amount of damage. You really want to get, because if we can remember back in Game 2, I mean, Mike lived to like 200 or something. You well, really want to make sure That's that also just Bayonetta. It Bayonetta, Bayonetta doesn't kill at 90, she's going to kill at 200. Yeah, but... Ideally, you want to at least keep winning neutral until you eventually get that KO, but... Like, right there, yeah. Because, you know, Kong Kong, you know, he lived a long time, but ultimately Kong Kong was just able to keep winning neutral until he was just chilling and back there eventually killed, so... That's what you want to see happen if you're a Kong Kong fan. You want to see this 3-0, but... Right now, I mean, it's last stock. Okay, that's punishable. He's gonna DI out. Yep, forward air. I think he tried the forward air again, but... Oh, he got yep, caught. he predicted it. But not able to punish, though. Even if he did try to punish it, armor would've kicked in. That's true. Man, maybe that, that move... <laughs> that move's kind of fun. And yeah, now he's just, like, being a bit more passive around it, just running away from it. Because he's realizing that he's pressing buttons and expecting to try to punish, but Mike is probably oh. thinking, okay, he's just going to try to press buttons on That's me, gonna so I'm going to press close. my armored button. Oh, almost uh, gets that, but... Yep, again. It's going to roll, yep. Oh. Okay. So yeah, Mike, I mean, that back has got taken. It's going to be a 3 Oh, victory for Con Con. Definitely a good showing from MNI, but at the end of the day. He's got losers still. Con Con is, you know, one of the best players here in New Jersey for sure. You know, was PR'd in the past. So, I mean, it's no surprise to see him clean it up. He probably came because Steve's man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't, bl I don't blame anyone that comes because Steve's a good character. Let's just say that. Yeah, Steve. Steve is Steve is Steve. Um, shout, shout out to Stefan. He, oh boy. I was, I was telling him on, I was telling him, yo, just pull up your secondary is better than like ninety percent of New Jersey. He's like, <laughs> yeah. He's like, no. Steph if Steve's banned. I'm not coming. Stefan's Pikachu. Not bad, bro. The, the it's Stephen not Pikachu kind of got the sauce. Pikachu. But. He has Rob. Rob's. A oh yeah, true. But yeah, we got Con Con in winners finals. Yeah. Oh, well, maybe you should focus. I, I, I get it. I get it. I'm a I'm yeah. Huh? Now you were. I, I will say like, like I, I, I get, I get what you mean, but like, uh, there, there was a lot, a, a lot of M and I conversation. You know well, what I mean? I was trying, I was trying, to, I was trying to switch it up to talk a little bit more about Con Con because he had true. a very good performance. That's true. Right but there. here's the thing: if you're not gonna bring headphones, and you're you know, getting distracted by talking. Yep, just keep it yeah, pushing. Let's, let's keep it. Let's keep it pushing, bro. Let's keep it pushing. It, at still... the end of the day, it is what it is, and uh, I mean, we're just gonna see the bracket continue on, and uh, yeah. So yeah, we're we got... getting uh, the other side of winter semis. So other we'll be side. seeing Jackal again, and we'll be seeing Biddy. Jackal and Biddy. That's yeah, gonna be interesting. old classic, old classic set out that's here. The Smash Four. Yeah, yep. I'm sure. It's it's a Smash Four, definitely. Yep, <laughs> a thousand percent. I'm glad. That Jackal does not play Sonic anymore. He does with all of, but he most he means Wolf, and that's and that's cool. I'm glad he means Wolf. With all love and respect to my Sonic players, let's out just there. say there's a lot of Sonics here today. Yeah, no, I would look. I got respect for the Sonic players. You know, your boy been improving a lot lately. You know, we've been seeing. You know, Nameless took a couple names, ironically. Yeah. Um, you know, I just, I just like commentating uh, other characters, you know what I mean? But uh, If there was another Terry player to play here, I'd probably just go ape shit. <laughs> Wait, are you able to curse on stream? 
probably. I'll, as long I'll as we don't say anything. Yeah. Keep it. <laughs> Just don't say anything. Uh, None too crazy. Yeah, basically. None crazy. All right, we're going to keep it chill out here. Um, but yeah, Biddy versus Jackal. This is an interesting matchup. I'm assuming Young Link versus yeah, Wolf. Yeah, Young Link Wolf. And Wolf yeah. wins that matchup. I would imagine. Yeah, let me let me try pulling up their PG stats record because I imagine they've played quite a bit. Um, I just need to check and see um, uh, what the record is so far. But yeah, as we wait for that, um, yeah, we're just gonna keep it pushing and just lay up a little bit. The pro is even if I don't want to like enter bracket, this place is ten minutes away from me. Oh really? Yeah. Nice. Uh, Platt was 40, and this place, yeah, this place is 10, because I live in Tom's River. This was an hour from uh, where I live, because yeah. I go to TC and J. Yeah. So we were, we were, we were going on a little road, road trip, but anyways, we're going to get it started here. Biddy versus Jackal, winner semifinals. I'm, I'm ready for this, man. I feel like both of them are just going to go sicko mode, because... <laughs> Real. So yeah, um, looking at right now, um, Jackal is up 11-2 against Biddy in Ultimate. Um, the last time Biddy won was oh wow. Uh, okay, yeah, that's a quick stock. Yeah, all right. <laughs> last time Jackal, Biddy... Jackal really wants to make it 12-2, huh? 12. <laughs> that was crazy. That... Okay, Wolf up. I Wolf up smash is kind of broken. <laughs> <laughs> oh, for sure, for sure. I mean, yeah, Biddy, Biddy does have some sets against Jackal for sure. I mean, at Flat Star number 39, he Wednesday's 39, he beat Jackal 3-0. But over the past three sets, it's been all Jackal. So, oh, I mean, Biddy's more of a Pokemon guy now. He's been grinding Pokemon. And I guess true. maybe maybe the focus is just on other places. You know what I mean? Which I don't blame him. I mean, that, he, that that's still nice, you know. Gotta get other hobbies. He did a lot with Smash. I think he just wants to focus on other stuff. I don't know if he finds Smash as fun as he yeah. does anymore. Yeah. Because at the end of the day, even if Biddy isn't like freaking like top 30 in the world like Jackal is, he still left his mark, you know, on the scene. He's, you know, left a solid legacy for sure. So it's always nice to just expand your horizons and go to different communities. But right now, I mean, Biddy's still trying to do what he can to. Um, bring this to a more even situation, but I mean, we're seeing a there. big lead on Jackal's yep, side. Oh. oh yeah, he's trying to, you already know that fair back air is going to be coming out. That shit's hard to do at hard percents. Yeah. Especially when I attack cancel most of my uh, aerials. Okay, okay. And fair back air at over past like 56 percent that that's hard it's tough yeah if you uh, okay forward though killing nice. you, nev you never know the, you never the x know factor oh the next raid yeah that kills dang yeah b knows bro b just got sauce a little bit it happens a little bit of sauce a little bit of seasoning it happens man it happens to the best of us it does happen to the best of us Counterpick to Town City. Um, I think that's a pretty decent counterpick. You like having that big space that's more room to shop projectiles and stuff with Young Link. And like then with the goes, side blast zones. That's I just mean, better with Wolf, though, because his projectiles transcend it. Even if he tries to throw projectiles, you can always just try to uh, reflect them. Yeah, but at least it gives you a little oh, the more. Oh, bomb conversion? Oh, wow. Clean 41. It does at least give you a little bit more breathing room, and um, you'll probably have a little bit of an easier time killing because, you know, stuff like four there is going to be killing earlier, but, I mean, right now Jackal is, again, um, doing awesome. pretty well, but, I mean, he's been pretty even. And, uh, yeah, right Jack now. Juice calling out uh, Biddy's Bunch a lot, though. Oh. Nice. I don't know if that was true, but I think he caught. He it felt, it sure felt true. He, <laughs> it did look true. I think he knew Biddy was going to press a button and punish with Wolf Flash. Yeah, Jack Lath, these locals, he's always on something, bro. He's always got something cooking up. And, uh, 
Yeah, as he we saw, saw a new local, and he's like, you know what? Let, let, me, <laughs> let me get a little bit of that real quick. New, new, new place to farm. <laughs> new pl I wouldn't say farm. I wouldn't say farm. <laughs> he's not gonna farm, all right? But he is very good. But yeah, right now, I mean. Just playing neutral. Uh -huh. The nooch. And yeah, I think um, as. Oh wow, that's just gonna oh, be a yeah. yep. As Biddy continues to try and find the kill, Jackal knows that all the leverage is on his side, so he's completely content with just kind of chilling a little bit. Oh, he thought he was gonna thought he was gonna throw out an arrow, nice forward air from Biddy. Yeah, that was nice, but I mean, as we've seen, like, oh, Jackal really the shine the conversions, the uh -huh. platform kind of yeah. Jackal continuing to try to do the most. I mean, I respect it, but uh, yeah, so far this is very solid. That's Okay, there we go. Nice right. conversion. Oh, oh caught him pressing another button. Uh, that happened. That happened twice. Yeah. Rip. <laughs> Sometimes it just be like that. Man, that's kind of tough, but I mean. <laughs> now, does B have any other characters? No. Okay. He has the only one. I don't know why. I thought Biddy had a Diddy Kong. I don't know why I thought that. No, I think you're thinking about Gons. I think I'm just thinking like Biddy rhymes with Diddy. <laughs> Biddy rhymes with a lot of things. <laughs> Biddy, Gritty. No, get. Man. <laughs> Anyways, back to the game. Uh <laughs> Town again? Yeah. Uh... Town again. I mean, where would you, where would you kind of pick? Um, assuming that he probably banned FD, right? Probably FD, ba probably banned FD Battlefield. Yeah. So I'm thinking Smash, uh, Small Battlefield, maybe? Maybe Small Battlefield, but I, I just think, like, in general, this is a really good Wolf matchup. And so any stage, and, and Wolf is one of those characters that, like, does generally well on, like, any given stage. So it's like... At least the stages here. There are a few stages in other tournaments that... Ooh. Nice spot dodge read. There are other there are other stages that at least aren't legal here that I think Wolf kind of struggles in. Yoshi's yeah. Lilat, there's Kalos. Yeah. But uh we, we got the, the collision rule set, so the best rule set, yes, by the way. Sir. The best one Down baby. To yeah. This is actually oh, been a, the up period. Okay. Even had the bomb there in case anything bad happens. Um and yeah, this is a dead even game. Bay's been doing a good job of like winning these neutral interactions and making sure he makes the most out of this, but before you gotta oh, make sure you don't get too diced up and got, oh yeah, he got go. diced up. There we go. He got diced up. <laughs> he did. Well what is Youngling supposed to do there? He's in his recovery animation. That's true, his, bro. It's like DK up he can't There's not really, much yeah. He has no jump. Oh, oh, oh yo, okay. Yo, Biddy with the okay. sauce, late stuff. Yo, oh, and, and the, the taunt, taunt. Yes, sir. yes, sir. Oh, go off, Biddy. Oh, that was nice. Biddy okay. Did, Biddy does it for the people. I yes, sir. Bay, Bay's a, a man of the people. What can I say? Oh. Damn. My boy Nameless made top eight, and now it's a, a Sonic did <laughs> <laughs> Nice. All right, but back to oh. this match, I mean. A lot of these boomerangs coming out, and a lot of these arrows too. I feel like too, Biddy but... plays a little more patient. I think he can take it, but yeah. also at the same time, Jude is just gonna play a lot more patient. Yeah, Jude knows how to play patient for sure, and um, it's gonna be a tough battle, but it's doable, man. Board Let's throw? see if you can get one on no. the board. Oh, oh that's so... it. Yeah, three zero. Three zero, but still, you know. He got the. Effort. He got his clip. He got his. Clip. He got the clip, bro. That was kind of nice. All right. Like, a year from now, it's going to be like, all right, Jack will beat Biddy. It's like, oh, whatever. But, yo, you see that Biddy clip? You see that? <laughs> yo, famous Pokemon player You see player that double Biddy? Nair Gim? <laughs> double Nair Gim. Uh, you got to respect that. But we're going to be seeing Jack yeah, now we're, in, we're all, yep, rest of the brackets, top eight. Um, Let's look at top eight. Xavier versus, Xavier, Xavier versus, versus Astrid? Astrid. I've never heard of Astrid. Nice. Let's go Xavier, my boy. Nameless, Nameless your is your boy. That's a Sonic Ditto. And That's going to be interesting. Winner's Finals is, yep, going to be Jude, Jude and versus Con Connor. Con. The Connor-Jude matchup. Okay. What's going on? We are currently determining to see who is going to be on stream next. But um, before we do that, um, do we need to talk about 
the ads on the bottom right? Uh, you don't have to. They're mostly just passive, but I guess since we got right. a minute anyways, why not? Uh, why not? Wait, what? Okay. Okay. Yeah, sure. So why not? Yeah. Like, follow, right. subscribe. Got VG Bootcamp, uh, who is graciously hosting us. Yeah, man. Uh, Big shout out to VGBC. Much love. Channel. I'm glad to see that they're still going strong. Um, I know the Zand the. Xandu 500 is coming soon, right? Yeah, here it That's is. That's going to be big, bro. Yeah, so next. many people are coming. I know the Zamba's coming through. Yeah. Okay, well, Justin oh. Byleth. Yeah, Justin's coming through. Justin Byleth. Like the yeah. You got the weekly. A decade. I did not. Yeah, so basically there's like a whole series of events around Xanadu 500, which actually did just happen. Uh, yeah. But as you can see on the bottom, there are a number of... Upcoming events, including the Bread and Butter Monthly, which is just FGC, uh -huh. then Xanadu Homecoming, April 22nd. That's the big one if you're the an Ultimate one, fan. Man. Yeah, that, that's where you're going to want to be if you're a big fan of Ultimate and big fan of EG Bootcamp. It's right? a big moment for the community in general, man. I mean, Xanadu been going strong for well over a decade. Well, um, I think uh, th this one in particular, this Homecoming, is going to be featuring a lot of uh, a lot of people. I think yeah. I think Tweaks confirmed. Uh, a few people of that caliber confirmed. Yeah, I know Zamba's coming. Yeah, and then uh, a lot if of big names. Yeah, if you like uh, melee, you just wait a week later, and then you go to Xanadu Legends. Same deal. I think uh -huh. they're going to be beefing that one up for the occasion. Yes, sir. 64 and brawl. Yeah, yeah, and then you got Ooh. Origins uh, in in May. So I might, I might have to tap into Xanadu Origins, bro. <laughs> Every, remember when we used to hate brawl? Well, people hated on brawl competitively, but <laughs> man, that get that. Okay, I rather much play brawl than Smash Four. <laughs> oh, <that's me>. oh. <laughs> well, I got something for both you guys and everyone here that is need that, that are none of these games. Uh, this is hey. Flash Party. Flash uh, Party. Yeah, which is uh, free to play, by the way. Yeah. And this is a pretty sizable pop bonus. It is featuring some really good players, including the likes of like uh, Zane, Void, Riddles. Yeah. No. Real. Real talk. This is actually like a pretty. Yeah. Fun this game. is a pretty cool. I uh, honestly. I, I'm gonna be streaming this too. Um, the, the the game looks like it's pretty buttery. Like, yeah. It's like a very smooth looking game. I, I got I got for free just feeling like all right. Let me just try out some random free game because I the heard some people talk that about I, it. It's actually kind of nice. Yeah. It's I'm like, just yeah. hoping it continues to have a community because with mu multiverse shutting down, that kind of stinks. Yeah, yeah. It, it's tough for these kinds of games. Uh, the thing about Smash is it has a lot of the IP to kind of carry it, but I think, I do believe if you have a game and the game is that good and this game seems to be pretty good, then, yeah. you know, anything's possible. But I mean, Rivals got a strong community, so it's not out of the question. Yeah, you know? I mean, that, that's a, that's true. So shout out to Flash Party, man. Yeah, and uh, on the other side of things, uh, in Mexico will be Geek Fest, uh, actually the week after Xanadu Homecoming. Yeah. So uh, two solid events there, and this is going to be in Mexico. Featuring the likes of MK Leo, DeBuzz, Andre Sethen, Sisqui, and Hungry Box. So. H Box coming out. Don't don't sleep on Andre Sethen, dude. He's been on the come dude's up. Dude's good, yeah. Yeah. yeah and, and he's an FGC player, so uh, I automatically like him. Based. And uh, I think that's pretty much what we got for ads at the moment. Yeah, man. We're just waiting right Again, now. Again, huge shouts to VGBC for hosting us here um, and having us on their stream. Uh, it's always, you know, really awesome opportunity and. It's cool to see them, you know, after so much time and after, you know, so much stuff going on over the past couple of months. They're still going strong. So, again, big shouts. We're currently waiting on the next match. Yeah, it could be. Uh, you never know. We might just jump in the winners' finals. Otherwise, it looks like uh, we're waiting for two, <laughs> two losers' uh, top eight matches to finish. Yeah, they're, they look like they're pretty deep in there. One is Xavier Ooh. and Adostran. I think Adostra yeah. we fit. Okay, so that, that's news to me. I've played Nameless and Pokemon Master Nicola. Oh. Yeah, I'm What's looking up, back dude? right here. I see your boy is locked in. So I'm so. Yeah, and then on the other end, yeah, <laughs> Nameless and your boy. So it looks I, like I think you said your boy's locked in. Yeah, he's locked in, bro. So he's going to be playing against Biddy. And then the winner of the other set will be playing against M&I. Okay. So I'm mm. not sure if we're going to be seeing one of those sets or if we're jumping the winner's finals, but should be any moment now. Yeah. You know what's, you know what's unfortunate? I... Me and Ted tend to go back and forth, and the one time it's like, okay, it's last talk, last hit, and then he ha they have to team kill each other because um, me, one guy, Ted, Pokemon Master Nick, and Acorn are all on the uh, eight, like JV team. Or, or I think it's Varsity. What's more, Varsity or JV? Var varsity, and then there's Junior Varsity. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, so the, the we're all bucks. on the Varsity team. 
And then I play no one round one, so that's kind of a team kill. And then if I won my set against Ted, I would have had to play Pokemon Master Nick. And I know how to play against Nick, so I that probably that would have been a double team kill. Dang. Either way. This happens when you travel in a pack, man. It's kind of the nature true. of the beast. That's yeah. true. I you don't can know. only do so much about it. I don't know if they're going to show up more because we had Precept and Day today, so we kind of had all off. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we'll see. I think uh, especially we're, we're approaching off season pretty soon as far as college goes. I mean, it's already in it's May. Already, yeah. yeah. May yeah. So be the another end of the couple months. Semester. And yeah. uh, hey, if you're a local to Tom's River, New Jersey, uh, feel free to come out to these. Uh, this is yeah. a, where it's located, Tom's River, New Jersey, which is kind of like central slash south uh, New Jersey. So pretty it's, accessible. It's yeah. kind of a pain living here, but it's kind of fun. <laughs> <laughs> There's cool stuff. I mean, this part of the state is honestly pretty nice. And then, yeah, uh, I love I love yeah. seeing the Central and South Jersey representation. Um, and it's nice. I mean, this is a nice little venue. People say that uh, Central Jersey uh, Central Jersey does not exist. Um, That's a meme, dude. I, I mean, know. it's there. Okay, there got there's the heart of Smash has always been from Central, at least since I started. Since Smash Four, I would say pretty much all of the. Uh, I guess all the names you would have seen pop up at bigger tournaments are pretty much from South. So there's that gotta again, there's like, gotta be people that unironically think Central Jersey does not exist. Well, I could understand. I guess I could understand why, but it's a it's, it's a big funny. debate. It's, it's just a lot of pe yeah, people just don't think Central Jersey is a real thing in the first it's, place. It's the real hot issue that's like dividing the people right now. Is Central Jersey real? Vote. <laughs> <laughs> vote, vote and chat. P press one if you think. I'm just a spoiler uh, alert. It, it's real. I'll, I'll pr know. Press one if you I think wish. Central Jersey's real. Uh, press two if you think it's fake. Is that <laughs> Central Jer Central Jersey doesn't get really many good pizza places because the That's water true. isn't as good. The water isn't as good as up north. That's facts. That's what I'm saying, bro. I don't know. I mean, I don't know. I, I live in Central Jersey, so I'm probably biased. But I feel like I got a lot of pe good pizza where I'm from. But also, I'm not regularly getting pizza anywhere else. I mean, there's a local joint that's three minutes away from me, so I usually have that whenever okay. I'm hungry. But it's not—it's not terrible. It's good. Yeah, uh, I mean, it's not bad for sure. I mean, there's a lot of good pizza places here in Jersey. Um, yeah, I think that—that's not something we should take for granted, you know, because I've had pizza from like different parts of the country. Sometimes it gets rough, man. Bro, let me just that. sometimes uh, it gets rough. Let me Price. just let me just say this. I feel like New Jersey catches a lot of flack, but. We got it pretty good here. You can have pretty much anything that you want in a quality way, including pizza, bagels, all that, within yeah. like such a small radius. The only yeah. thing that sucks is that tiny little state. Yeah. Texas is the only con other than yeah, that. Yeah, well, that that's all. That's all. That's all meta that like the, the smash. <laughs> Anyone who's like watching the stream probably doesn't really have to deal with. Yeah. You know what I mean? oh, no. <laughs> no. Yeah. When it comes to like home ownership and like things that that actually do matter. Yeah. Which do suck in New Jersey. Uh, but in any like case, if I, had to, if I had to stand up here and be like, yo, raise your hand if you know about 401k, I'm not seeing a lot of hands. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you're not going <laughs> to see any hands in this place. <laughs> but now, I, I, all I wanted to say is New Jersey is a cool place. I mean, you could you yeah. could be hiking one day and then be, like, doing something mountainous another day and be at the or beach the following. Or you just be in the city. Like, the or you be in the city. I'm like, just glad all that two hours. where the area I live is really quiet, so I don't have to worry about any of that. Yeah, yeah I get you. I get you. But, yeah. Um... We're still waiting on their match. Yeah, I see James running back and forth. I'm yeah. assuming something's cooking. Oh, yeah, Xavier. even with, bro even with his broken, like kind of broken arm, he's just still doing shit. He, he Yo, is, Xavier he's got one, two, one. Okay. Okay, so my goat. Yeah. Yeah, I got, I got a, so Xavier is gonna be playing Ammonai. Ooh. Oh man, Mar Mario gets a sword. Ah, Xavier might go pit. Actually, that's nah. a pretty big run from Xavier. Xavier. He got knocked down there pretty early. Yeah, after bro, I'd, well, actually, I had actually not that early winners quarters. Yeah, yeah, no, he beat he beat Marcus, uh, who's going Kazia. Box Kazia, Kazia. He's trying uh -huh. to make it work. And then he beat. I don't know why he just doesn't play playing Game and Watch. Fit. Uh, I don't know. He just he wants to break the game. It's just he's yeah. trying to learn box controller while learning Kazi at the same time. I, I respect like, it. Uh, so a double broken. It's like you're trying to learn a new language. My boy, my boy, trying, trying to see the to world burn, and I gotta respect else. that. Well, go yeah, I mean, he's always plays those kinds of characters. He was man. playing Steve before this. Yeah, yeah, exactly. now Steve's just banned. Before this. Steve's banned. So yeah, he's, so he's gonna bro, have it to worked. He had his bane at a phase in Smash Four. That's just that's just the personality, guys. It's all good. Like pre patch Palu. Xavier, Xavier uh, yeah. didn't watch. Yeah, yeah, he was playing a lot of Palu. Yeah. Palu, actually, not even a hot take. I think that was his best character, even to this day. I think Palu is his best character. Yeah. No, I don't think that's a crazy thing to say. I think his game. I he think got his game and watch. Palu. 
Well, he also got results with with the Belmonts early. early uh, that's true. Yeah. So, oh, real that. ones remember. Real yeah. ones remember. Dude, he, remember. He, was, he was jobbing. He was making money with the Belmonts. And yeah. then, he, then people realized that Belmonts were kind of bad. Yeah. Okay, so I think Xavier and Emna are going to be playing off stream, from what I can see right here. Yeah. Um, Xavier is up 4 1 lifetime against uh, M and I. Um, they've played a couple times at like hyperspace. Um, so. If. Yeah. Uh, Steve, we are not putting. I don't think M and I is being on stream. You're yeah, I, I actually think we're going right to winners finals. Yeah, we're going to winners it. finals. I see your boy sitting with the biddy, and I see. Yeah, I see Xavier. Oh, Na oh nameless, I. I guess, lost. Uh, and this is why, and this will be set up in the future. Your boy um, kind of going off too, bro. He he destroyed his seed. I don't know why your boy so. Wait, what's his seed at? Yo, shout out if anyone here in chat 16, went to Kelly yeah. Cup. Real ones know when uh when freaking when your boy almost took a game off a of quick. That's a that's some deep cut knowledge. Deep cut knowledge. Game one of freaking your boy versus Quake was like two minutes left, like last stock, last hit, both at 150. It was a crazy game. All right, I think I see what's going on. It looks like someone must be in another bracket. Uh, we shall not oh, HDR. Yeah, nope, no, we're no, not no, saying no, no, no. that. I don't know what you're talking no, about. No, having, oh. having drinks oh. right now. Yeah. They're having drinks just, right they're now. They're busy. Right? It's OK. Got to get some more. They're, playing dubs. Hydrated, they're playing dubs. <laughs> they're playing dubs. They're playing dubs, yeah. Yo, pizza? Oh, we got pizza. I'll have one. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Oh. Yo, sick. Yo. Just be wary to, Bro, to not out. chew in everybody's ears. All. True. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I'm probably, probably going to put the mic that. down. Since yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, honestly, if I had an away screen, we'd already be on it. Unfortunately, off actually, the I don't want to put this here. That's not a good place. Yeah, no. Yeah. Putting the pizza on top of the computer. It's OK. I'll just um, hold it. Just move the, uh, move the keyboard. It's all right. I'm good. I'm you just guys gonna, got napkins? All good. They're probably, they'll good. probably give us napkins. Oh, okay. Speaking of New Jersey Man, pizza, when New window. Jersey pizza's like that, that looks amazing. Yeah, I this love is, New this Jersey is a good pizza kind. like that. Yeah. That's the, the nice fresh, the cheese is yes, nice and melty, extra cheese, the sauce is amazing. There's always a nice texture to the to the crust. And, it, the and it's the best thing because I need to have something to eat. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was a little bit I was a little bit hangry going into bracket, so I I, I gotta make sure, you know, next tournament I'm gonna tap, tap Arcadian tomorrow, I gotta make sure I gotta be nice and full. I, um, I, uh, I don't really like going to Arcadians as much as I used to. Dude, it's the last arcade. It's the last tap tournament, bro. I well, the last one. Well, I know, but it Ever. just stinks that it's an Arcadian, but it brings more people in. So. Yeah. Low key, tap Arcadian is gonna be more stacked than your normal tap tournament because you know what's gonna happen? All the freaking Wi-Fi warriors that never go locals, all the godlike Wi-Fi warriors that freaking like. That's what Don't tends to locals. happen. I that's what I do not like about Arcadians. People that tend to just go to Arcadians and never go to locals and support mm. locals. Yeah, man, you got got to support them locals, man. You gotta, man. We're out here every like week. Like even with even if you're going to college, even stopping by and yeah. just being around is su supporting yeah. the business. Cuz like I know I know like for example like Hydra's been really busy with a lot of stuff um, when it comes to like, college and stuff like that, but you'll still like and B2B just calls him a flaker. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, oh, thank you. Also got the, the Coca-Cola over here. Um, I'm trying so to stay much. off soda, but like I'll indulge just one time for the one time. I'm not much of a fan of Coke either. I, I'm a Sprite person, but I, I will not deny since they're being kind. Yeah, no, it's uh, you know, who shot us to Gamer Nook? But yeah, no. As I was saying before, before I before we have this pizza, by the way, make sure to take your mic off. Um, yep, I'm going to. Yep. Um, yeah, no, it's cool to see him, like, still, like, hang out at tournaments sometimes, even if he's not always able to go, you know? So, shouts out. Yeah, we're going to have this pizza. Um, we're going to... You know what? I'll, I'll, let me... I don't have a proper away screen. I apologize. All right. I so, you want you want to watch us eat? We'll be back in, like, less than five minutes.
battle. Rosalina and Luma. There we go. Sorry for the wait. A little bit of a wait, but we are back here with winner's finals. It's going to be Jackal versus Kong Kong. We're seeing the Rosalina come out. I, Jude probably knows a lot more with Min Min and Bao than Rosa. I, yeah. Even if they play a lot, I feel like they, they do you know the matchup a lot better. Yeah, I mean, I, I mean Wolf is a pretty uh, dynamic character where a lot of these matchups can be... Uh, Pretty interesting on both ends, so I think regardless of who Kong just, Kong could have gone, I think it probably would be fine, but... But at the same time, he probably does know the matchup since he's probably played the buzz a lot. Yeah, so it's interesting to see the, the Rosalina and Luma come out. And so far, it's been a very close game. I think Rosa is honestly one of better, uh, Connor's best characters. Yeah. Oh, is that going to kill? No. Wow. They must, they must, they nerfed that from Smash 4, right? They nerfed a lot of things about Rosalina. That's <laughs> true. Honestly, I'm kind of glad they did. Okay. Uh, it's fine. Uh, but, I mean, Rosalina, like, a lot of people did not like Rosalina at all back in Smash 4, but she now. Was broken. Mm -hmm. But, with that forward throw kill, we're going to be seeing a little bit of a lead from Hong Kong, but. Yeah, now that Rosalina is a bit more balanced, I think we're starting to see a lot more appreciation towards Rosalina and Luma. And that is going to be an that interesting did, that jab. That jab did, um, didn't really <laughs> do much because Luma didn't really, Luma hit them the most and Rosalina didn't really get them. Yeah. You re When you're playing against this character, you realize when you get hit by those star bits and it just keeps adding up, it, uh -huh. it just gets, it, and then you realize, oh wow, I'm at 100%. Yeah, Rosa does so much more damage than you think. Like, it doesn't feel like you're getting hit by much, but then you look at the percentage, it's like, wait, I'm at 100? What's going on? But as I say that, I mean, Wolf can do damage as well. I mean, Wolf has always been ooh, a top-tier character. Yeah. Even with when people thought he didn't have any rep representation. And Wolf has always had representation. It's just that people didn't really know much about Jude, and now Jude is... I think he's a top 20 player in the world. Yeah, he definitely has that potential. I think at, the, at bare minimum, he's like top 30. Um, he definitely has the results to prove it and the potential. And we're seeing that come out in full strength as we see you know, those combos from the firm has come through. Yeah. Catching the air dodge. I mean, that's one of those things about Rosalina and Luma, right? Like, you know, very good character, but, you know, she's a big body character and, like, not the heaviest, you know? So, she, I believe kind of, she is a featherweight. Yeah, so she's kind of prone to some of those combos and some of those kills. It's kind of ironic because Rosalina is like a heavyweight in Mario Kart. Um, yeah, she's a heavyweight in Mario Kart because she's like a tall character. Oh, oh that's back there. Yep. Wow. That foot did not even touch her, but you know what? It does you, not matter. You know about Wolf Bear. <laughs> we, we all know about Wolf Bear, baby. I love my fair and, my fair and balanced mid-tier. <laughs> yeah, your Politana. I mean, Bowser's a, mid, a fair and balanced mid tier, so I get that. Love, I love <laughs> I do not buff the wolf back air, please. Uh, and we're going to see Bayonetta this time. That's kind of interesting. I'm not sure if I fully agree with this, but I mean, if you want to try out some new things, then by all means. Uh, I don't know how... I mean, he's a good Bayo stage. Bayo does in this matchup. I mean, Wolf, you know, one of those fast follower characters might be prone to some of those Bayo combos, so I can definitely see why the counter pick was made, even if I feel like the adjustments could have been made with Rosalina. Also, Bayo's neutral just get, kind of gets invalidated by both Shield and Blaster with Wolf. That's I think true. Maybe 
Hunter went for this pick because of maybe Bayo does better than Rosa. Yeah, I don't good know. stage, good combos, edge guarding potential. Um, Bayo definitely has her own merits. Here. I mean, Kong kong has got like a laundry list of very strong characters. So um, yeah, I think it's pretty reasonable, all the things considered. I mean, I'm she just straight up ducked up under that. Uh, that blaster. Yep, low profile it. I'm expecting that wow. nice edge guard. I'm expecting if Bayo does not work with this match, I believe he's probably gonna go mid man. Maybe. There's there's a potential, but I mean we're starting off, we're seeing a little bit of a Kong Kong lead right now. Hold on. A bro. Yeah, I mean Oh yeah, there's also like a pretty decent amount of recovery mix-ups with do with Bayonetta that like, right there, it's gonna make it a little bit harder to, well, you know, get those ledge trap kills. If Wolf just catches a uh, Witch Twist with, you know, there's down tilt, there's yeah. forward tilt, there's down smash. There's definitely a lot of things you could do. I mean, this is like a top 10 character, for sure, but, um, I think the Bayo is so far proven to have its merit. Kong continuing Dude's to live. Dude's not able to get a kill out. He's trying yeah. to. I good think, any, I think escape anything will kill Kong. at this point. Oh, no. yep. wait. Now he's living. Okay. That was close, though, man. You gotta be careful. Make sure he saved that jump as Wolf. Well, uh, Wolf's recovery isn't as bad as people think. Oh, it's it not terrible, now. but you just gotta be a little careful. You know? I can't think, be too reckless. I think down throw is gonna kill now if he can try to get a throw out. Yeah. Uh -oh. oh, he's gonna two frame him. Yeah, yeah. Down tilt. the little poke with the with the down tilt. And People good. never expect down tilt to be a good move. It, no, it's, it's a good, good it's a good poke. It's good, man. And, uh, still though, I mean, this is very doable for Jackal still, but Kong con has got a very solid lead. Get up attack. No, that was what? Oh, <laughs> okay. I mean, I I get either I way. It. Either way, uh, I guess. No, I, I respect the role. He would have been more in the corner against Bayo. Being, you know, being in that situation is not good. Yeah. All right, so right now. I mean, we kind of see Jackal climb back a little bit, but, ooh, wow. Yeah. I think that was just bad DI. Yeah, and also the rage. Yeah, yeah, the rage. But yeah, that was, I mean, now Jackal's got the lead all of a sudden. And, uh, we're gonna see yeah, if nice Kong is able to convert here. It's gonna be kind of tough as Bayo, but it's definitely some options you have. Oh, um, up air, up, up air spray. Just wanna be careful. Yep. Yeah. yeah I mean, this is looking like a fairly even game. I I'm mean, surprised. I don't know if Jude's SDIing or not. That's gonna be a punish. Yep. Yeah. I don't think he meant to. Uh, Firewolf onto the stage. I think he tried to angle it. Uh oh, here we go. Shit's hard. That, 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 trying to angle Firewolf down is really hard because sometimes you just miss the ledge because you're holding down. Yeah, that's true, that's true. But right now, I mean, this is a pretty solid leap for Kong Kong. I mean, I, I Jackal think... has a, something like a 19 and 2 record on Kong Kong, but I mean, Kong Kong's really looking to uh... make it 19 and 3. <laughs> yeah. I think the reason why he chose Bayo is because. Uh, after burner kick at legend, I don't think Wolf Wolf can't really even if he calls it out and he trades. Uh, it's he can just get back to center stage easily. Yeah, get, ABK is very solid. Stage control is important in this game. Yeah, and so I'm right now looking at Jackal at a very high percentage. Any back here is probably gonna kill. And, uh, now any back here will really kill. Uh, forward throw? No, it's a fake kill stream. Oh, you called it, you called it. I told you. Bayo's just, Bayo has a lot of fake kill streams. I see the, I see the vision. Yep, there we go. Dead. All right. And that is going to be 1-1. One, one. Bayonet counter pick. I was questioning it at first, but you know what? I was gladly proven wrong because that was a very solid win. A close one, but still very solid. Man, I already missed the pizza. The pizza was good. <laughs> <laughs> Chris uh, is like nodding his head like, yeah, that's just, that, that was amazing. Yeah. 
I thought Momo would stop by because I I remember if he asked if there was commentary and he didn't stop. He, um, he's not going to any tournaments uh, during Ramadan. Oh, ra uh, ra oh okay. I didn't yeah. know Ramadan was happening. I am not. Uh, shout, out to Mo shout out to Momo though. That's my goat. Momo is the goat. And back to the game itself. Um, I mean, we're seeing a solid lead. Oh. Yeah, we do see Kong Kong mix it up a little bit every now and then by the ledge. Mixing, yeah, I He's think gonna that's need why. to do. Yeah, Rosa cannot really mix up by ledge. Yeah. Even with Momo. So I think that's a big part of what makes this Bayo counter pick a bit better calculated, but I mean we are starting to see the adaptations come through, right? We're starting to see a little bit more of a solid neutral jackals and trying oh, to figure cool. things out. And, uh, nice big F tilt. Yeah, also the counter goes to PS2. How do you feel about that? Uh, new, uh, new, it's a neutral stage. Yeah, but I think um, it's a stage that a lot of people have played on like all the time. So I imagine it's just like a comfort pick. I mean, our set Jackals was literally just PS2, so. Yeah, it'd be like that sometimes. Um, I'm trying to learn how to get good on PS2, so. It's, yeah. Yeah, it's one of those stages we need. Oh, being good at just counter picking, being good on every stage is just yeah, very much Ooh. more nice wall read. That's not gonna kill. Not gonna kill, but very nice. Tilt again. Oh. He's catching Connor with these two frames. Playing clean right now, and uh, it's a very solid lead for Jackal right now. I mean, you would not have thought that that game two was a that Kong close. Kong win, but uh, oh wow. There we go. No. Okay. Yeah, with how Jackal's playing though, I mean. It's looking pretty dominant Two this frame? game. Cool. Yeah. And he's looking for some style too. I mean, we know that Jackal, he, he'll go for that style sometimes, man. We saw that video. If, if he knows he's up, he, he's just going to go for uh -huh. it. Oh, back air. that was so clean. 50. So clean. Jesus. And a three oh my stock my commanding man. win on Jackal's end. And he's going to be up 2 1. Yo, that pizza place is amazing. And right now, back here in the comms, we we're talking about, we got some conversations about the pizza place going on right now. Because you know what? That pizza was really freaking good. Um, and they close in five minutes. Oh, man. That's tough. But back to the no, set it's, itself. No, it's 8. It's 8.50 right be now. Seeing, yeah. Yeah, it's 8.50. Going back. Oh, oh the SD from Connor. Oh. <laughs> Oh, oh bro, come on. Just yo, bro, just come on, man. Not like this. Oh, I oh. think the the tone is definitely. I don't think that's gonna get to Connor. I, I hopefully that doesn't mental. Yeah, the Con mental Con game. Connor's got like a very good mentality. It's just that like when you SD at zero in the first five seconds, it's like. Yeah. I don't care if you're like MKLeo levels of poise. That's just tough. Like it's just unfortunate. He's but, coming back with it. Yeah, 89%. that's true. You can never count him out, but... Oh, nice oh. wolf flash. Yeah. Good call right there. Okay. Yes, please. Want yeah. another slice? I'm good, thank you. All right. Yeah, I'll probably just have... That, that's going to be my dinner. Two slices of pizza. Nice. But yeah, this is another three stock. Oh, wolf flash oh, fight? Goodness. Yeah, the, uh, another three-stock lead from uh, Jackal. I mean, he is very close to getting KO'd, but, I mean, just looking he's, again. He's got to respect Jude off stage. Wolf Flash is... Yeah. I think if he hits Sweet Spot one more time, it's going to kill. Oh, for sure, yeah. So, you got to be careful. And here we go. I mean, we'll try to go for some reads. Maybe a little bit desperate, but yep, that cool. classic Red Power is just going to take it. Um, I'll, I'll take it. Okay. I'll, I'll take a double slice. All right, yeah. Aether's going to get the two pizzas. Three, uh, I guess. Shouts out again to Gamer Nook and the Tio's holding it down. Um, Tio but, being goaded as usual. Yes, but back to the match itself, I mean, this is. Oh, no. Oh, no, no, they're fine. Okay. Oh, oh, Wolf Flash Spike. Oh, that is. Oh, no. Oh, Connor, no. And Connor. 3 1. <laughs> For Jackal. Oh, no, he's just he's and like, Oh no. That it happens. 
It happens, man. That's just unfortunate, man. Jude's and Grands. Yep, Jude and Wares have the Grands. Man, Jude, stop being such a troll, man. Man, bro, spinning. Dude, that, was, that, that was kind of dirty, bro. Come on. <laughs> man was spinning in the first five seconds of the match. Oh. Uh, That's like. And Xavier to update some more on how the brackets go. And Xavier, I think I'm gonna, nice I'm gonna eat my uh, eat my slice. So you're probably gonna have to do solo commentary for a bit because I All do right. not want the uh, the food munching. Walla on the comms, solo. I got solo. you. I'm, I'm gonna I'll make the camera disappear too. Oh, there oh, we boy. go. I needed the wrong mic. My bad. All right. All but yeah, right. up next on the stream we got Xavier versus your boy 15, and your boy. Going on a bit of a monster run. I believe with C to only make wow, like, top hype. 16. Yeah, wow. Look at him, man. Yeah, C to only make top 16. He has just yeah. obliterated, obliviated, if you will, that seed. On the other hand, Xavier, I believe, is seeded in the top six and, you know, has been making a very solid run. Beat Marcus, beat Alistron, beat Eminai, and he's here in the Losers semifinals. And, uh,. It's been a very good run, and uh, that's been nice to see. Um, but yeah, your boy also, again, can't emphasize enough. Like, check out this loser's run from your boy. 2-1 over Grixis, 2-1 over Nakira, 2-0 over Nameless, and then 3-2 over Biddy. That's what, one, two, that's four sets in a row where your boy has clutched it out. So this is gonna be I mean, it's gonna be an interesting set for sure. As we kick off loser semifinals. Yeah, he's cooking, man. This is uh, good to see because I have seen him kind of come out here and there, and he, you know, you'll kind of see him flash on the results. But this yeah. is a, this is a pretty strong one. Like this is like a not like a lucky day, you know? Like yeah, he, no. like he, he's beating people who are, are pretty good at this game. Your boy's been coming. Oh, that was obviously shield break, by the way. Uh, your boy's been on the come up for quite a minute, but only recently have we seen him. Finally, starts to break through and get some, you know, some big wins, some noble performances. It's been great to see, man, because he actually plays. Oh wow! Okay, great forward smash read by Xavier. Uh, who is gonna remind everyone that there's another player on the screen that's you as well. And it's him. Yeah, I appreciate seeing Mario uh, on the screen. It's definitely one of those characters that sort of slips under the radar when you talk about good characters in this game, but. Obviously, with, with players like Kurama, I, I should actually just say because of Kurama, I think <laughs> yeah. people are kind of seeing the light a little bit. But uh -huh. character's good, uh, yeah. pretty good. It's limited in some in some aspects, but like if you're creative and you're good at neutral and you know how to, you know, game, you yeah. find some you can find some success with Mario. For oh, real. A thousand percent. Yeah, I think Xavier is really like. Really good against some of those crazy Mario combos, and also like has a really strong sense of neutral, where he is very good at just overall positioning and make sure he's always in the right spot to not get punched too hard or to get punched himself. I mean, looking pretty good right now. Uh, nearly lapped your boy before finally losing that first stock, but still uh, sitting with a comfortable. I, I'm gonna call it a comfortable lead. Yeah. But your boy, I mean, contrary to other Sonic players and contrary to popular belief, he actually plays pretty aggressively with Sonic. He goes with pretty hard approaches with the spin dashes. Um, and he, I mean, obviously there will be times where like he's willing to play the defensive game, but you gotta respect that. You know, he goes pretty aggro with the Sonic. Yeah, there's a lot of ways you can play Sonic, you know, I mean, everyone is familiar and probably thinking about the campy one, but, like, you can play aggressively. The character's fast and closes in really quickly. Mm -hmm. I think that's, like, your boy's key strength is that he's really good at just closing in the gap and, like, making those sort of walls that you have in neutral just make him go away. He's it's really. Hard, it's hard to zone him out. Yeah, he's, he's making it tough for your boy to kill you, uh, kill him, so. Uh-huh. Although, slowly but surely, your boy is kind of closing the gap a bit. Yeah, now, on uh, his way back, piece by piece. Yeah, I would actually not call this even. I mean, uh, you could see your boy fly off the screen at any given moment now. I mean, it really all takes up smash or even any back throw near the ledge. Yeah. Several things, uh, not of which are that back air, but... Yeah. It's going to get close, though. So, I mean, you got to be really careful of your boy. She has been, so... Oh, trying to get a big force match read there, but not quite able to get in. 
Jackson's probably not gonna kill, but it's gonna get very close. I uh, I also agree. I just came back and like I agree with back to and with the, every Sonic that I've uh, played. Your boy is definitely the most aggressive. Yeah. Like I Nick think this has been a pretty long game, but I think it's because Xavier Xavier's playing patient. And yeah, Xavier is a do. very patient player. Um, he plays he matches very optimally, which I mean you gotta respect. Is, uh, your boy is he's willing to play alongside that game, even if he does go aggressive. Um, for the moments. Because um the nameless had to play him. And I mean nameless is kind of aggressive as well, but I think your boy has just more is a lot aggressive and knows what to and, and can play defensive as well. Yeah, he's got that mix up. But yeah, this is so far a very solid lead for Xavier, you know. Xavier repping T C and J. Um so I gotta show some love, you know. He's like my practice partner, my coach, so gotta get a little bit of biased commentary on the mic, but uh, uh, I'm just gonna rep Stockton because I mean my oh my my boys did well. Pokemon Master Nick did well, Nameless did well. Ooh, okay, good for there right there. Yeah, I got I got obviously I'm gonna be showing love to Xavier, but your boy has been playing quite solidly and just keeping this close and competitive, so I can never sleep on any opponent, especially I, someone of your boy's caliber. If Xavier can get if he can maybe like use uh up smash him twice, I think that kill. But yeah, he just Xavier, has to chip. Sonic's really just good at getting chip damage. Yeah, for the most part, Xavier's kills are mainly going to be coming from those back airs and down airs. That's what he likes to do. You will see like an up snap, but up back. it'll mainly Speaking come from back like air. a big call out, you know. Oh, yeah. Shit just get through. There, shit but. just through there. Now, I, I don't... I don't like Great best decision. It, it's still doable on your boy's end, but... Yeah, because he's chipped. Now he's off stage. Uh, oh. Yep. Dead. Oh, wow. That's why. That's why. I, that's why I did not agree with the uh, the up smash. I think he should have backed her and just got the escape control. Yeah, I got you. But I mean, that's gonna be a one elite for your boy. Very, very clutch at the end there. Really good game. That's. Um, Unfortunately, I think that was my last game. I'm probably gonna go around play friendlies, and then I'm gonna have to head home soon. I gotta. Right. I gotta Thanks for the opportunity as always, Chris. Shots out, all right. Good to get to commentate with you, bro. And, uh, have a good rest of your night. Um, so it's gonna be back to myself on comps. I don't know if uh, uh, he's gonna be also on comps too, so yeah, right now. Um, again, this actually looks like a pretty decent year boy lead. Um, been solid so far, for sure. Yeah, we'll see. Uh, I feel like that was a little bit of a fumble in the last game, but in any case, yeah. your boy is going to continue on his run that he's been on today, and potentially, I, I think the key for your boy here, I mean, we saw such like a back and forth match, literally the last game, yeah. so I feel like if he could just sort of, I think he's just got to press the gas a little sooner, because he sort of yeah. squeaked that one out when I feel like he probably kind of went down early and didn't really have to. Yeah, you want to just like hold down the lead as Sonic. The Sonic with the lead is just like well, yeah, some got terrifying some options, stuff, man. bro. Oh, oh, well, he's not going to get the lead. In fact, that was a really good trade for Xavier. Yeah, big up smash right there using that big noggin on Mario's part to uh, get that KO. But, um, I'll be interested to see if your boy could kind of clean this up before taking too much more percent. I mean, 30 already and counting. Yeah, that's the thing about Mario. Sometimes he can struggle to kill, but if he gets that wow. kill, you already know that that next stock is going to pile on a bunch of damage. Quick. Good aggressive recovery there. Yeah. I feel like that should not have worked, but kind of caught Xavier sleeping at the wheel a little bit. Oh, Looking to return the favor in a similar fashion, but not going to get it. And this is now looking a little bit like game one where your boy was down and going to be tacking up damage. Out. And before you know it, finds the lead, but we'll see. Yeah. Gonna have to get some more damage before that happens. Yeah. Again, I like how he's using Flood to uh, get that stage control and uh, put some pressure off of him. But your boy, like... And it's crazy, too, because, like, I've played your boy a couple times. I can definitely see there have been some big improvements on his part over the past couple months. Wow! There we including go. Including some big edge guards that he's been getting lately. And, 
Yeah, that was that was really good. Um, I like that your boy has been more committed towards that aggressive play. And I think it's really starting to pay off. But well, nothing Saber's fancy gonna, there. Yeah, that was just a good, just a good runoff nair, basically. Yeah, Saber's going to make sure that this is a close game. All right, no blowouts. And he can still take the game. I think he's. I, I think the thing with Xavier right now is really finding. It's finding a kill because uh, at the end of the day, he's playing really great neutral. He's playing a great, great set so far. It's just he's, he's not getting that kill. Yeah, it's very hard to take stocks with Mario because of like if you're not getting those crazy combos off the top, then like it's kind of hard, right? Back air doesn't really kill that early. Um, back air neither. You just kind of keep winning neutral until you like eventually find a kill. You know what I mean? Yeah, I mean a few more percent, you can kind of start spamming up, smashing back airs. Uh, which is yeah, at this point you really just all right, good play on the ledge, and we'll see if he's able to fix it or finish it off. And it's not quite. But he is going to get a lot of percentage on, so that is at least a good thing. Um, you got these big timing mix-ups on the spin dash from your boy. Yeah, there it is. Wow. I was going to say, just start throwing out some up smashes, and I mean, you're going to catch him. Especially your boy plays pretty aggressively, as you guys were breaking down before. So you catch him just coming in with, a, with an up smash, and sometimes all you need. Yeah, Xavier does really like reading those rolls with up smash because, you know, it leaves you vulnerable, and eventually, yeah, you get that, uh, that big noggin coming through, swinging them. Uh, Mario's head has got to hurt from <laughs> swing like that. I mean, the guy the is time. breaking blocks, hitting metal blocks, getting coins out of them. Yeah. The guys, I don't know what he's got up there, bro. Bro, bro he either like has this like the greatest skull known to man, or he just has CTE. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, it's, it's, it's all mush up Maybe there. both. <laughs> But yeah, the power pick is to, ta is to uh, Smashville, um, which I think is pretty good for Sonic, just because um, you have a lot of possibilities for combo extensions with the big platform. And with it being a smaller stage, you're going to be able to get some earlier kills with like back air. But at the same time, this is a really good Mario stage, so it's kind of tough. So, I mean, I do like the power pick, but Xavier is just as capable of taking advantage of this kind of stage. Although I do know that Xavier does, he does like, like PS2 is like his go-to stage. So um, I think he likes having those bigger stages. I mean, it makes sense. The more platforms you have, the better for Mario. I mean, obviously having that one right dead center uh, here is, is very helpful. Uh, pretty much anything that helps you reset your jump to continue spamming up airs, but we haven't really seen much of that so far, we've been seeing quite a few spare hits. Uh, we've been seeing, yeah, I guess mostly spare hits. It's really hard to catch Sonic in any kind of meaningful combo. A lot of yeah, times. especially since Sonic plays very grounded. Oh wow, Bro, just big wind him up. Yeah, got that big punch, and yeah, that's just gonna get that kill. And uh, let's see if your boy can uh, get that lead. I think that cave was supposed to be like a ledge trump. I think so too. Uh, that's like a usually pretty reliable way to trump the ledge with Mario. Yeah, it's a really, I mean, ledge trump back airs are really good. Probably one of the best options any character has. Yeah, ledge trumps are still good in this game. They're not as potent as they've been in the past, but like they're, they're, they're viable. Oh, uh, sure. And they definitely keep the other player on their toes. And I think Mario players especially like using ledge trump back air. Well, yeah, he's got a, Mario in particular just has so many quick options out there. Uh, yeah. So if, if you get them off the ledge and scrambling, you can kind of hit them with it, like several. Yeah. Not going to get the strong hit back here, but. Xavier's been holding the ledge down pretty well. Uh, yeah. Even just, ding, just dinging them with the neutral airs, like, you know, not even just because it's a little bit of damage percent, but it just oh. totally. Oh. Wow. Yeah. Wowie. What was he at? 50 something? Yeah, he's at 57. I mean, he tried pairing it, and it did not. That's go honestly well. that, that's that's huge uh, for your boy, especially with the way yeah. the set's been going, where he's been kind of down, then having to come back, and then wins. Like now, he just got pure lead, like almost a full stock at this point. Like I think mentality is always a, like a very key, important factor to getting wins, but especially like when you're playing Sonic or you're playing against Sonic, where you have these very methodical and drawn-out games, where even 
if you're like your boy and you play aggressively, it's still like a lot of these games end up being long. Um, having that good mentality and like getting those big wins can like be a real momentum changer. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. This, this is a, wow. This is a game definitely where momentum oh. is is a big deal, and a lot, a lot of whiffs right there in the center of the stage. But Xavier still holding on strong. Not a uh, same same die yet. Yeah. Oh, I was expecting a back air. Your boy doing a really good job of living, of somehow avoiding a lot of these attacks. Yeah, I mean, he might as well throw it out there. He might pay. Why not? <laughs> Yeah, I mean, you, at this point, you got basically a full stock to lead, uh, to work with, so... Okay. Not as much anymore. But, you know, you got a right Mario at 107. Mario with Rage, though. I mean, you get a ladder combo, you gotta watch out. Oh, there it is. great two-frame. And it's gonna be a 2-1 lead for the boy. Yeah, it's been really, again, really impressive seeing the improvements that your boy has made over the past couple months. Um, I would not imagine that, like, a couple months ago, I feel like Xavier would have, like, taken us, like, a 3-1 kind of thing. But, yeah. I mean, Xavier, I mean, he's also been improving as well. He, uh, been, do, been going crazy at some of the South Jersey corners. But, I think your boy is, like, Really catching up, not just to Xavier, but to the top New Jersey talent in general. So I gotta I tell you, it, it's looking that way, at least from what I've seen out of him today. Like, he's, yeah. he's been playing some really good sets. I've seen him on stream a couple times, and now this set, like, he just seems overall just solid right now. Yeah, so for anyone in chat sleeping, you got film on your radar, you know what I mean? So, it's nice to see, but the set's not over yet, so. There's still the chance for Xavier to win the next two games and uh, get a big one, but nevertheless, we are looking at a pretty solid even game right now. And uh, yeah, um, as I mentioned before, Xavier really likes PS2. It's a really good Mario stage, as we saw right there. Wow, <laughs> yeah, and there you go. This is a good Mario I think stage. That was, I think that was the first ladder we've seen the set so far. Yeah, it can be kind of tough to get when your opponents like Sonic is really good at evading certain things, but... Yeah, I mean, wow. Oh, okay, wow. that was a good kill, push. Bro. Yeah, forcing, forcing your boy's hand a bit and mixing him up now with the cape. He's yeah. really keeping, he's keeping the pressure on. Xavier's honestly, kind of dominating right now. Yeah. Wow. yeah, as long as you're keeping the pressure on, like, like that's kind of what you got to do, especially against someone so fast as Sonic. Yeah. And here we go. I mean, Xavier. I mean, has really responded with force um, in this game force situation. And, uh, your boy doing a good job of trying to bring it back, but. We just gotta wait and see if it's too little, too late, or if this is what your boy needs. But Xavier, I mean, he's gonna continue to play pretty defensively for the most part. Um, Cause he has the leverage, right? He's got a big lead. He got a lot of neutral tools with Mario. You don't have to like go super aggro in approach. So I like the fact that Xavier's just keeping it chill. I will say one thing though uh, about as far as chilling goes, cause we have seen Xavier kind of lose a couple decent leads uh, a couple times in the set already so i bet yeah. you like if i'm xavier i'm kind of keeping that in mind because it does look like he is trying to sort of not let that happen again yeah so as much as like you have the room to kind of relax i don't think you want to against sonic i i'd say if you're xavier you just want to get out of this game as quick as possible yeah because right now i mean he's got a three stock lead but i mean we've seen three stock leads disappear in this game um, I mean, it happens for sure. I, I think a lot's gonna have to happen, but that's a right. That's a start right there. That's a start, man. So, I mean, anything again, anything's possible. So, I mean, your boy's gonna do what he can to just not panic and just try to bring this back to potentially get a three-one win. But I mean, right now, he's even kind of putting the pressure on. Yeah, and he's got to keep it on. It looks like he's sort of has cooled off a little bit with this last stock since he's got oh, a oh, 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 wow. Almost. Okay. I respect it. He's got to make that recovery back, and he's going to be back in this game. Uh, yeah, this is still a very solid lead for Xavier. Okay. And yeah, your boy... 
he's playing he's playing the long game as in he's literally like using the long stage to get these massive spin dashes which i i like the idea but for this game i don't know if it's too little too late you know what i mean mm -hmm. yeah honestly I, if i were if i'm xavier right now <laughs> I mean, I'm not the one in, in loser semis, but like oh. I'm kind of just spamming. I'm spamming up Smash a little bit. Hold I, on, though. This is last stock all of a sudden. Yeah, this this is what the set's kind of been. Like you'll see Xavier go up, and then your boy just sort of slowly but surely gets himself gets himself back in the game. Oh, that's it though. Oh, it's not. Not quite. I lied. Not quite. And honestly. Honestly? Xavier's got to sort of sweat now. He's, he's got to close this out. Yeah, you got to close this. Oh, no. Wait, he has no jump. Oh, Wait, is that it? My oh. God. No way. Not like that. Not like that. Well, unfortunate way. Sometimes the gods, out. the Smash gods, just smile upon you. And, and yeah. It works out. It looks like it's just, it honestly just looks like it's your boy's day. Today is just kind of your boy's day, and I, I think uh, it's just it's that, that sort of vibe right now. So, it's just yeah. your boy making it happen, man. That was probably two, two big comebacks. Yeah, that was that was huge. I mean, he was down, well, he was yeah. down like two full stocks. Basically. I got I got to show respect, man. I got to show respect. Your boy's really been on that come up, and uh, I mean, yeah, he's, was... he's been making this big run, and uh, that was that was good. Yeah, I mean, man. he hung on. I mean, it may have not been like. He may have not like necessarily won the game in terms of like landing that last shot, but like he held on tough. Oh, there was sure. a lot of times in that game he could have just been like, "All right, bring, uh, I'm ready for game five. Yeah, and, and he, you know, he he didn't. He just ended up sticking it out, and one way or another, uh, yeah. you know, might not be the way that either of them wanted, but wins. Yeah, no, I saw Xavier had that like uh, he be reversed the fireball. I'm not sure if that's what you wanted, but as your boy was able to call that out. You know, Xavier lost his jump, and then, you know, just edge guarding from there, man. So, yeah, big win. We're going to be seeing your boy 15 in the Losers Finals. Yeah, Losers Finals. We're keeping it moving here. Keeps it pushing. Second to last set of the evening. Got or Jack third, depending on what happens. Po possibly, yes. Not wrong. I uh, got Jack awaiting winter side Grand Finals, and then... That's, that'll be it. So we'll see which one of these guys is, is going to make it through. I mean, Min Min Sonic. Oh boy. <laughs> Two, one, go. Here we go, baby. Yeah, and I mean, Con Con's always just so solid in these brackets where I would, I, you know, especially seating wise, definitely the favorite here. But with the day that your boy's having, you never know. Yeah, man. I mean, boy, I mean. I'm just curious how much he knows about this matchup. I mean, so far, I mean, he just ran into like three attacks, but. Well, I, I'll, I'm going to go ahead and say this. This is the first time I've seen Con Con use Min Min today. Yeah. Uh, this this is definitely a main of Con or I guess we'll call it secondary because Con Con just has so many characters, but. Yeah. Um, this is a, a seasoned character uh, coming out from Con Con. So this isn't just like some pocket pick coming out for Sonic. Yeah. So we'll see if, you, yeah, I don't know if your boy knows this matchup or not a ton of people play Min Min. Yeah. Oh, okay. Big up smash right there. Oh, he, he's going to continue to keep the pressure on. And yeah, I mean, your boy started out with a couple of hits, but so far, I mean, Con Con's getting a lot of hits. Yeah. Well, this is a, a totally different game plan, I, I would imagine, for Sonic, right? Like, you're not yeah. used to being able to, you're not used to having people keep you out at a range. Sonic, yeah, you know? like, I think you actually want to play aggressive as Sonic in this matchup. Because those spin dashes, I mean, with Min Min being a bit of a slower character, it might be a little bit overwhelming, you know, but. She's got so many ways to sort of push him away, so yeah. if he's able to break past that just a little bit, that, that's what's going to be key. It's a lot to ask, though, because Con Con, you know, probably the best Min Min in this state. And then, I mean, Min Min, very good character. So it's going to be a lot to ask, but if there's anyone that's up to the job, I mean, your boy's looking to step up. Yeah, I mean, and again, I'll, I'll just remind everyone, your boy's having a day. Uh, he's kind of tore it up through losers and, and taken down some uh, pretty uh, seeds that are above him uh, yeah. for, for this bracket. So upset uh, after we'll upset. call it upsets, yeah. Yeah, five losers sets wins in a row. And yeah, since losers around three, so he's made it through uh, one, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, he's made it through five sets. Yeah, Crazy. so it's been a really good run. 
from your boy, but with the way Kong Kong's playing, he's making it look like it's winners round one. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Kong Kong's great he, dominant lead. Kong Kong's good. He, he's definitely a PR caliber player. He's been on the PR several oh, times. Yeah. Uh, he has been pretty consistent even during Platinum Star days, where, yeah. you know, if, if it's not Rivers or Jackal or, or at the time when Tweak was coming, if it's not one of them winning the bracket, it would be Kong Kong. Yeah, so no. he's, he's not that far off as far as really good players in the area go. In fact, he, he's, he's there. Yeah, Kong Kong's one of those, I would say, half of him bots, you know, doesn't go to like a ton of like super like major tournaments, but whenever he shows up, you cannot sleep on him. And so even if your boy gets like 3-0'd, like triple three stock destroyed, it's still an honorable loss. You know what I mean? Yeah, so, he made it a long way. And honestly, like going through that many loser sets, like it, it does get like the fatigue sets in. Yeah. So then you come up against a mid hit in the losers finals. Oh <laughs> yeah. And you're just like, damn. All right, we're gonna see a stock get taken off. That's honestly like one more stock than I probably would have taken off of him. So, <laughs> gotta give him credit. I, I appreciate your boy's tenacity. I, I don't really ever see him just like throw at any point. He's just he kind of just plays the same all throughout That's true. for the most part. But hold on, still yeah. Yo, your boy's actually kind of cooking. Hold on. I say I don't think it's outlandish. We saw him do some pretty a couple really large comebacks just in the last in the previous set. So yeah, not like he's unfamiliar to playing from the deficit. Uh, it's true. just a matter of yeah. It's more a matter of if Con Con gives him the room to do this, and it doesn't look like he's going to in this yeah. first game. He was starting to he was starting to adapt a little bit at that end of the game though. So. I mean, the win is not outside yeah, the realm of Yeah, like, it looks like he was figuring something out. Uh, definitely, it started off a lot more lopsided than it ended. Yeah. So, I mean, you got to respect it. I'm curious if the counter pick is OFD. Interesting. Um, I think at this point, I think he's trying to give himself maybe a few more places to land that aren't just in the path of Min Min's, like, range. Yeah. Things. Which would make sense to me anyways. Oh, oh, never mind. I, sorry, I don't know how to sing Battlefield. Oh. Never mind. I don't know why this seems... I don't know. I mean, this is a Sonic stage. It so. is, but like, it also seems like it's a Min-Min stage because That's all true. she has to do is just keep swinging forward and not worry about anything else. Yeah. I would think platforms are your friends uh, if you're Sonic in this particular situation, but... I don't think so, don't too, but I mean, this has been a pretty even game so far, so I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna judge. All right. Yeah, you're, I mean, like your I said, boy knows something I don't. I, said, I can't say anything at this stage. At this stage of bracket, yeah. I definitely would never pretend to know any better. Uh huh. And sometimes there's just comfort picks, right? Like yeah. there could just be I just like the stage. Oh. And you know what? Rolling. It looks like it's working out so far. Okay. So disregard everything we're just talking Dang. about with the stage. I like to apologize. I wasn't familiar with your game. Yeah, maybe your <laughs> boy apology form. Uh, Mer Mercury is in retrograde. Yeah. <laughs> That's, right, my, that's so my excuse. Let's see. It looks like your boy is going to keep the heat on and possibly tack on enough extra credit to make a difference or Ooh. make it back to stage safely. Yeah. And, dude, like, your, your boy, like, and, you know, again, Sonic's infamous for having a lot of, like, campy players and a lot of campy play styles, but you got to give gotta give recognition where it's due like your boy's playing pretty aggressively um he has he been working out i haven't been sitting here at any point thinking like approach 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 sometimes you you're, you can watch a set with a character that's traditionally known as camping and you're kind of waiting for that but in any case that is going to be con con finally uh taking that first stock and honestly not, not a bad situation here yeah it's not a bad situation but it just took so much time and like a lot of like mental energy to get that stock off, so I think the leverage is still on your boy's side, even if Con Con's gonna climb back a little bit, you know? I, I still like, again, it's still like, Con Con's got, got the game lead, he's still being one of the best players in this state, so I'm not counting him out by any stretch of the imagination, but it's nice seeing your boy perform well and put up a big fight. Yeah, just a reminder, Con uh, Con, if this game doesn't go well and he decides he wants to switch characters, he has several to choose from. He's oh, yeah. barely even playing Bayonetta today. Bayo, we saw the Rosa against Jackal for a game. Yep. We've been seeing a lot of different options, but wow. Dang. Just when I saw it, it was in your boy's hands, Con Con taking it right away with those big arms. And yeah, I there's, think it'd be a Con Con lead. There's just so much to look out for uh, when you're playing against Min Min. 
yeah. between the changing arms, where the arms end up, and then the grab has a range. Big but your boy, right he don't care about any of that. That's going to be a back air and right back in the game. Nothing but big kicks around here, and the kicks are continuing to come with those up airs. And the homing attack. I mean, we're oh. seeing a lot of spinning right now. Well, this is about as even as it comes. Yeah, no, this has been a very back and forth game, for sure. And, uh, Kong Kong really wants to establish that space, but if your boy is just able to avoid those attacks, he can really just instantly get in, right? He's doing a pretty good job dod dodging and weaving for the most part. Yeah. It could be a little tough sometimes getting around the arms. Ooh. Oh, wow. Especially just on, on, you know, this horizontal plane, which is what you start off the set Ooh. and catch him sleeping a little bit, okay. re-grabbing the ledge, so your boy on the board. It's 1-1. One, one. Sonic saying, let's do that again sometime. I think your boy's looking to win again sometime because he's going to be getting a game on the board. Curious to see. Looking to get some more. Curious to see if Con Con changes it up, and he's not. And honestly, I, I agree with that, too. Yeah. I think the Min Min's been pretty solid in the set. That was a close game. Just got to uh, make some of those adaptations, you know what I mean? Got to yeah. make sure that he cannot get in too easily. And beware of that ledger grab. Especially yeah. if you're Min Min. She's got, I think, the, probably the most hitbox on her ledge hang, right? Yeah. With the, with the arm just kind of sitting the on the ledge. Arm. Yeah. Oh, wow. Is that going to be SD? I don't think so, but you are going to eat a lot of damage. Yeah, not a great place to start. It could have been three, worse, though. But it could have been worse, absolutely. So... I mean, Sonic does have okay. a pretty far recovery, so I mean, it's good that he was able to not SD in the first five seconds of the game. And here's Kong Kong just kind of chipping him up, saying, you stay away, please, uh -huh. and not anywhere near me. Cause Get off boy, my property. Your boy has been invading space quite a bit. Yeah, and also. something that was really good in that interaction is that Kong Kong did such a good job of avoiding the edge guard. You know, you had the four there, the up B projectile type thing. Um, Kong just saying avoiding all of that, doing the matrix, the matrix ducks over it, and uh, that's gonna be a big factor in uh, staying alive and uh, winning this set. But right now, again, been very back and forth. This is definitely looking a lot closer than the very beginning of the set, where it was looking like. All con con. Yeah, the games are kind of evening out, and it does look like in the process of all this, your boy is kind of figuring a lot out. Yeah, and I like I, I like that. I like seeing the entertaining sets. You know? I like seeing both these players adapt, push each other to their limits. Yeah, because you could you could tell the adjustments coming in through con con too, right? I mean, uh -huh. you, you can see that he's playing a lot different in, in game three than he was in game one. Yeah, because he's mixing up the timings in which he unleashes his attacks. So he's using the range a little more too. Uh, yeah, your boy's getting around it, but I'm seeing Con Con sort of more calculatedly throwing out the arms. Yeah, so you can't just like jump for free. Wow. wow okay. I'm not sure that was supposed to kill, but it did. Yeah. Um, still have very high percentage, but I mean, any kill he's gonna take, so it's gonna be a little bit of a lead for Con cool. Con. He's gonna actually build upon a little bit. Wow. 44 percent. That's kind of crazy that hit, but yeah. not able to fully capitalize there. Your boy does make it back, and now suddenly has stage control. That's yeah. how it works with Sonic. Sonic is so he he went from having like no stage control to, to, to having the most stage. Yeah, control. he was he was off the opposite side of the stage. Like a split second. Yeah. I forget about how fast Sonic is. I guess that's his whole this whole this whole shtick. I think your boy is really really working on catching. Uh, kind of on the ledge here. You're seeing, I'm watching him kind of cook up something a little different each time. Yeah. I'm seeing Con Con recovery. He's got the taste of blood ever since he got that down smash on that re-grab, and understandably yeah. so. Uh, Min Min, not the best recovery, not the best ledge hang at all. So yeah. those are the things you got to take advantage of. But Con Con's doing a really good job of holding down center stage, holding down the neutral. And I mean, he's starting to almost lap him a percent, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, he's doing a really good job just surviving. He's evading these kills, like, evading these back airs really well. And because there hasn't been any big damage, uh, he's just been sort of chipping. Yeah. And, and it's now has to a point where it's added, enough to, added up enough to where it's, we're looking at multiple stock lead. So, yeah. unless your boy acts quick here. Ooh. Yeah, this is looking a little bit rough. Big lead. Again, we've seen. 
We've seen your boy come back from crazier sayings. We saw it like literally 10 minutes ago. Yeah, yeah, he's been getting some really, really big uh, comebacks. Really big comebacks. But at the same time, you gotta think like, Hong Kong's kind of holding it down pretty hard. Man. Yeah, this is this is where KonKon sort of shines. I think KonKon just as a player has really good stamina in this, yeah. in this game. And the capacity to switch characters, which not a lot of people have at any given moment. Yeah. I think like KonKon really shines in like the best of five setting. Yeah. You know? Yeah, he's an adapter. Like you might be able to take him 2-0, but like if you're 3-0 in KonKon, you gotta be one of the best in the world. You know what I mean? Yeah, KonKon definitely a strong player. Uh, but we'll see. I gotta have to finish this game out and then win another one to make it back to fight Jackal because, whoop. Okay, finally gotta get KO at 200%. But, but this is what I was talking about with your boy. Like, he, he's gonna keep he's gonna keep scrap until the very end, until it says game. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, he's down pretty big right here. He's got a bit of a mountain to climb, but he's playing kind of the same as he's been all set. Yeah. He's still trying to, he's still trying to get damage. He's still approaching. Because every interaction is an opportunity to learn more. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, this he's not giving up, and by doing that, by not giving up, he's like learning more about the matchup and seeing what adaptations he might not might have to make in the next game or even in this game if he you know potentially gets a win. Because again, nothing nothing's impossible, bro. Wow. But it's kind of maybe there. maybe the comeback was there. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I will say this: I don't think he tried super hard. So. <laughs> to DI back on for that, which which is understandable. That was yeah. a, a little bit of a, of a dire situation. At some but. point, you just got to be like, all right, on to game four. Yeah, I, I think I think you kind of saw the writing on the wall. and it, You don't want to blow all your energy kind of making a, a, a losing battle win. You know, yeah. like it, just, it just doesn't make sense. Sometimes you got to throw in the towel. Yeah, because the other games have been close, so it's not, you know, he still has plenty of opportunity to make something happen here. So on to the next game, we got Town and City. This is another really good Sonic stage, but also really good Nimmin stage. So it's going to be interesting to see what happens. But and th Yeah, this is more in line with what I would have thought your boy would have wanted to pick initially. I yeah, mean, this is a certified Sonic counterpick stage. <laughs> Absolutely, man. You got so much leverage to work with and platforms and just... Places that to sort of go. You already know that spin dash forward there is going to be coming out in spades. Yeah, Min Min's arms do still cover platforms pretty well because they, they can angle differently and the, they, they have different properties and stuff. But yeah. I would say if you're Sonic, you know, it's good. But I mean, oh, <laughs> all right. All right. Yeah. I Fair feel enough. like I, that's like the second or third time I've seen that happen this year. Yeah. Oh, I tried the forward smash again. Maybe getting a little bit. Oh wow! Right. Reading that air dodge with the laser, and uh, that's gonna be a yeah. Little that's bit pretty of a big. That, that, that's a pretty big lead now for Kon Kon, who is up a game and needs one more to win. Yep, one more to make it into grand finals. The winner of this is gonna be playing Jackal, who's sitting comfortably in the winner's side grands. And I mean, Kon Kon right now looks like he wants that run back badly because he. Look, man, I got love for your boy. He yeah, kind of getting diced up right yeah, now. He kind of getting diced. One. I think he might be a little bit, you know, after the five loser sets. Like, yeah, it might, it might be the wheels might be coming off a little uh -huh. bit. But I appreciate the fact that he's still fighting for yeah. it and he's gonna continue going out there. Because like, Trying if I, because like when it comes to those wheels, like if I were him, the wheels would be like in a different dimension, bro. Yeah, we exactly. Flown off a while ago. <laughs> well, yeah, there was a several times we had even talked about uh, before where you're just down big and then comes back. So yeah, that that's that's a roller coaster ride within itself. He won like as a player. he won like two different game three sets as well. Oh wow, okay. Gonna get a forward to a kill. Not a comeback, not out of the question once again. But you know, playing from behind so often, like you can only make so many comebacks in one bracket and. Uh, Right now, Con Con's just kind of holding down the lead, and uh, it's been a really good run for your boy. I don't want to count him, count him out too soon, but it's looking really good for Con Con, who is again proving why he's one of the best players in this state. Um, would definitely be PR if he came out to more stuff. Um, it's always nice to see him compete, but yeah, it's looking. Oh, actually, yeah. wait, hold on. We're looking a little. It's not. I mean, it's not out of the question. It's a, but it's it's pretty unlikely. It's just yeah. the thing is he's gonna have to catch a, a nice, like strong enough stray hit 
to take the stock, and then he's got to fight back for another stock. Which it's I gotta like, tell you, I, I would be confident if he could take the stock. Yeah. Because he, he is able to fight back pretty pretty well, uh, even at a big deficit. Ooh. But that is not what we're going to see right now. Instead, we are going to see ConCon move on to Grand Finals yep. to get the run back against Jack. Jack. Yeah, no, I mean, very good showing. Joe, you know, just adaptation, holding down that center stage. Really good neutral coming through from ConCon, Con, but gotta give props to gotta give props to your boy, man. Went on one hell of a yeah, run. Yeah, dude, that was like that was a great run for him. Uh, really good bracket, and especially because we don't really get to see him that much. And with all the players in New Jersey, you sometimes with all the good players in New Jersey, like you don't always get to appreciate some of the other good players in New Jersey that yeah. just don't get out as much or don't always necessarily get those places where you're seeing them on the graphic all the time, but they're getting ninth or they're getting like something yeah. else. But like he's he's been grinding and it shows. Yeah, and we here at Gamer Nook were caught sleeping because your boy was seeing 16th. Yeah, man. Won seven sets, only lost two. Is in third place. Pretty good day. Wins uh, over Xavier, Biddy, Nameless, Nakira, Grixis. Awesome, and, uh, man. Uh, yeah. Good I, stuff, man. I got to think he's probably pretty happy with the run display. Oh, for sure. Like that. Like, it's, yeah, this, this is a tough bracket. Yeah, and so yeah. great run from him. Cool to see him out here competing still. Um, and yeah, we're going to be seeing Grand Finals very soon. I actually got to go to the bathroom real quick. Yeah, no quick, problem. But, go, go do your thing. Um, I might, I don't know when I'm going to take off, when my carpool needs me, but... Uh, no sweat. We'll, we'll be here regardless. For sure. And uh, I'm looking forward to this Grand Finals. Man. It's going to be exciting. Oh, yeah, man. Also, we're seeing the Aegis come out. Yeah, this is a character Ooh, okay. that, that Jackal works on, for uh, sure. Cool. All right, so here we are, Grand Finals. Kind of what we expected to see today. I believe this is the first and second seed, so no surprises there. Oh, so my mistake, it does appear to be that the Aegis is actually ConCon's, and we're going to be Jackal trying out the Cloud once again. We did get to see this Cloud a little bit earlier in bracket. Uh, I, I'm assuming this is like a... Not like I've never seen Jackal use the Cloud before, but you don't really see it that often. Yeah, yeah there are definitely like phases where Jackal goes through his fair share of secondaries. But that just goes to show with like his understanding of the game. You know, you've seen him try like Aegis, Cloud, um, even Sonic a little bit. Like go back. To it's worth it for him, man. He's good, so yeah. you might as well keep trying characters until yeah. you find another one that clicks. Yeah. Like he already knows he's, he's amazing with Wolf, so yeah. all you can do is add to the roster. And honestly, like stuff like that also helps with understanding how to fight the character. So absolutely, all of that is just important information. Did he go uh, Cloud against Connor in winners? I think so. Let me check on that. I have, I have notes here. Yeah. Uh, he did not, actually, uh, from what I saw. I wanted to secure, secure winner's side grants and then bring it out. So. I mean, it makes sense, right? You yeah. gotta have a little bit of padding to, to try out the new things so you don't make it too hard for yourself in case something goes wrong. Did Connor go, uh, did Connor go Bayo? Or yeah, Connor went Bayo and I think tried it, Rosalina at yeah, one point. Yeah, yeah. Exactly right. Yeah, actually, uh, Jackal this previous weekend was at the PAX Arena tournament where he lost to Buzz uh, twice his, his Rosalina, and then also his Min Min, so. And worth a shot then, right? Yeah. I'm surprised Connor didn't try Min Min, but. I mean, I guess we'll see how these sets go. I yeah. I don't think I've seen uh, I don't think I've seen Con Con's Aegis all too often. I've seen so many other characters, but but not the Aegis. So yeah, much. yeah. He definitely has gone through his fair share. Went Pat Peach, Zero Suit, yeah. Bayonetta, Min Min, Rosa. Like goes around. But yeah, he's, yeah. A, he's got a lot of characters. Yeah, but Jackal with a stock lead right now. Oh. Just, pull, just pull, zooms pull. that one past. Yeah. <laughs> Being good with Cloud is like getting your guarantees and not overextending because obviously if you overextend the wrong place, you're going to die. Especially to like an Aegis, oh. like uh, just dipping you off stage at yeah. like 30%. So you have to be very careful. And playing careful is what Jude is, uh, Jackal's good at. He is, he is really good at that. He's, he's sort of like, uh, he's a little surgical at times, honestly. Like he's just, 
Very good at analyzing what's happening and reacting. Definitely. Yo, what's up, what's up? What up? Welcome back. Hey. So we got an interesting character selection here. Yep, yep. Um, the Jackal Cloud. I, I saw in Friendlies, Jackal was practicing Cloud a little bit, so. Yeah, definitely a character that, like, I'm not saying Jackal necessarily has experience against, but, like, character, like, if you're, as a solid player, you can understand, like, what, what to and what not to do with Cloud in specific scenarios. And yeah, Jackal playing pretty safe overall, which yeah, you definitely need to against. Is that uh, big ages, but you got, yeah, you, yeah, yeah. I respect it though. Uh, if yeah, it, I feel like like covering the platform was better there because he's more likely to like land on a platform through fear than laying in front of him. But I mean, I understand it. Like, if you're, if you're, you're like far, FD, you would go. Um, oh, like FD, like definitely a lot better scenario um, for, for for a situation like that because either they like land near you where you react, or they have to go like to ledge where you're still an advantage. True, yeah. So we're gonna be seeing the counter pick to the same stage. <laughs> I respect yeah, it. It's, it's, <laughs> sometimes it's all you need. Uh huh. PS2. PS2 would make the best games, what can I say? Yeah, uh, but yeah, I'm not actually familiar with the Con Con Aegis. Uh, yes, yeah, Con Con has a very, like, mix of characters. I'm not sure how much Aegis. I've seen him play Aegis before, but he plays, like, Zero Suit, Peach, Rosa, yeah. Min Min, Feo. So it's just, it's just bound to be one of his pictures as well. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, right now, oh, good, good, aggressive landing. Uh, right corner there. Ooh. Yeah, big, big story stage. attacks coming through from both of these guys. But you know, Jackal. I mean, he's not doing anything super crazy with clouds, but you don't really need to. Yeah, you can just but play the cloud game. Being a good enough player and just knowing how to hold your advantage properly is sometimes like just the best way. Yeah. Cool. And, you know, Holding rapid shield, grab on shield for that long. It's yep. not, not the play. You can just roll through it after a certain amount of hits and uh -huh. get that punish. Yeah. Getting all the clouds. So far, I've been looking very nice. He's just been looking solid as well, but. I mean, Jack, I mean, you're playing against Jack. Oh, yeah. So there's only so much you can do <laughs> until you just get sauced up. Yeah, that was a good recovery option. People, like, yeah. you know, none of the scenarios will just, like, use their limit to up B, like, high or something. But, yeah. like, like, in that scenario, Connor either had to shield or get hit by it, and both scenarios would have allowed him to at least, at least get back to ledge safely. Yeah. I mean, Jack will definitely, like, he's not, like, a complete beginner at this character. He's, like, he has a decent understanding of the mix-ups you can do and the different like like he he's a couple of he's a couple layers down the cloud iceberg yeah it feels uh, like i would say it's very, it's very easy if you're not experienced with cloud to just like not understand how to like utilize his tools yeah and then just get like blown up like pretty quickly especially yeah. by uh mithra like quick aerials yeah yeah, see, like, the dashbacks, like, baiting, like if, yeah, baiting out the approaching aerials. Yeah, because, like, if I play Cloud, like, I'll be, like, spamming back here, but I won't actually be spacing it, so it's, like, <laughs> bro, bro think they're Spargo, you know? <laughs> <laughs> nah, yeah, it's definitely understandable. You, you, like, people, like, think that, like, oh, you could just do that with Cloud, but you really can't, because, like, yeah. it's, it's not as, like, free as people think it is. You actually gotta try with yeah, Cloud. Definitely. You have to space, you have to, like, understand habits. Yeah. Like, like, like that oh. right there, understanding who, like, kind of was chasing with double jump. Oh. Oh. I'm not sure if that was because... Yeah, I mean, I guess he thought he was uh, close enough to snap ledge, but just was outside. Yeah, but... but De wow. Yeah, that, that was <laughs> definitely not true. And, yeah, Jeez. Like, the down tilt double jump back here. What kind of schmix was that? Yeah, but sometimes it, like, it'll catch people off guard. Hold on, though. Con Con kind of cook it, though. Don't sleep. Not sleep, but... Oh, oh. Yep, yep. good old foresight. I love my fair, my fair and balanced character. <laughs> falls out of that side. Yep. Out. Hey, you know that that's that's how they balance it out. <laughs> yeah. Give it and take it. Mm -hmm. But yeah, this is actually looking pretty even, man. This is uh, very close, and uh, you're really gonna want trying to avoid that cross slash or even like the. Uh, yeah, try and go for a cross. Yeah, try and ch chase him up in the air with that, but it was a little too far away. Oh, that dash attack. Not going to put him in a good position. Ooh, I like that idea, but just didn't have the range. Yeah, yeah, Jackal covering well. Pretty smart there. And with the Pyra out, you're going to have to watch out for, like, literally everything. Because... Because the episode. 
a lot of different ways. Oh. There's like, oh wow. Blue swinging. They went swinging. Oh, woo. Waits, waits for the land on the platform, gets the up there. Yeah. It is very close right now. Oh, Grab's yeah. not going to kill, but it's going to put him in a good position. Yep. Gets the random blade beam. Help him out. Now he gets limit. If he, get, if he like, yeah, Con, Con, Con needs to be careful. He lands on a shield yeah. bad. If he spaces one, he misses an aerial. Oh. Did he get through that with the invincibility from Goodness. the blade beam? That is crazy. Yeah. Uh oh. A little bit of chirping here. Oh, the dash attack. That, it was weird because he. I guess he tried. Woo. I don't want to say he tried burying that, but you saw the shield come up. Yeah. And then he, uh, and then it dropped. So. Con Con yeah. said, "I got 99 problems, but 100 different ways to kill. That dash attack gonna take it. Yeah, it's gonna be one more. That is a fact. Yeah. Uh, still gonna be running it back. I'm assuming back to PS2. I do not know when the last time Jackal was counter picked the stage. <laughs> True." <laughs> I don't like how he was looking at the camera there. <laughs> Focus on the game. Man. Anyways, yeah, just back back to uh, the Jackal's death yeah. stare. Yeah, back. <laughs> uh, right, anyways, uh, game game three, we got one one. Nice little battle. Connor almost had something going there off stage, but like went a little bit too far out, and dude was it, Jack was able to recover well uh, pretty quickly. Yeah. Finally, finally gets a grab in. That baits out the air dodge from. Uh, cross five, very nice. Here comes Limit. Uh, there's a lot of different things you can do. Jackals have been really good at the placings with uh, the Limit Blade Beam. I think that kind of comes, that, that kind of calls back to like how good he is with like Wolf Laser. Yeah. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah, Wolf Laser like does a lot more than people like think, and J Jackal definitely utilizes it like really well. Yeah. Does not get the Ledge Trump Bear. Like I think. Um, there's an argument to be made about like who's the best wolf in the world, but I think undoubtedly, I think Jackal's the best wolf laser user in the world. <laughs> yeah, like, and just like wolf, like in terms of like patience, because yeah. like being a, like as wolf players, there's definitely tendencies where they like to just like go for like the, the big combos, like the yeah. short, strong hits. And while Jackal will go for that, he has that like good mix where like. Just because he can do that doesn't mean he's going to. He's good. He, he will sit and like just wait and wait for an opportunity. Uh, but yeah, Con Connor, Con Con actually in the lead. This yeah, game. no, it's been pretty solid. He's been doing a really good job at surfing. Well, not there, but before that. Oh yeah. He's doing a very good job of surviving. Definitely. Yeah, I think that's the key thing when playing against Cloud. And I, I guess any character in general, but like especially against Cloud, who like. To do so many different things to net a KO, so avoiding that and piling up the extra damage is like really key. Right. Yeah, kind of holding that advantage pretty well, but Jack was able to get back onto stage. Yeah, solid lead so far. I like. Honestly, I feel like Con Con. I feel like his his Pyro is like been really solid as well. Like he knows how they get those survival codes. A lot of people are like enamored by Mithra and like all the combos you can do, right. but at you, the end of the day, you gotta get a kill Mith eventually. Yeah, Mithra, the Pyro, just cause, just cause she's like strong doesn't mean she don't got other qualities. Like, yeah. she definitely like spaces well on shield, call, calls out options like that. Yeah. Like, yeah, Mithra does that, like you're taking like 10%, like you're yeah. not going anywhere. So, so if you're, in, oh, in, oh, if oh, you're Pyro, you just explode. Yeah, Connor, Connor almost catching uh, Jackal there when he had no jump, but Jackal able to make it back. Interesting that he's going for Mithra up throw. I've never seen that option. Before. Yeah, I, I, I definitely am not familiar with common routes off of Mithra throws. Yeah. But yeah, uh, Connor, Connor still holding this lead pretty well. Oh my god! Oh. Nice, nice dash back by Jackal to avoid that. Yeah. He was 100% dead. Literally, I, I feel kind of bad because literally anyone else, any other player in the world, would have gotten hit by that. <laughs> but he just had to be playing Jackal in Grand Files here at Game of Nook. Gets those back airs. Can't get those down here. Another back air that'll do it. So definitely not out of it. Uh, for Jackal. Yeah. Yeah, right there. Gets 20% pass limit. Gets another oh. limit, an actual limit cross slash. And now he's just at 45. Yeah, right? And just cut, like one up, you out of shield. And it's 64. 
Yeah, Seven, just, okay. Yeah, just, yeah, just bringing it now back. Now it's just even. Oh, yeah. Like, things can... I mean, Ooh, leads can was not disappear so fast. So, a little reset right there. Yeah. Just throws out. All right. Oh, no jump on... Uh, oh, no, he did have a shot. Okay. But yeah, Ooh, I'm... Uh, out with the jab. Oh, oh just I falls out of it. I guess hold, held the rapid, yeah. the rapid a little too long. This has been a good comeback from Jacobo. We need to see if he's able to hold. Went for the up smash, doesn't get it. Barely touched it. the up air. Jacobo needs to be careful with every interaction. It's, it's another, it's another backs. last talk, last hit situation, man. He knows if he, if he eats like a landing back air, he's done for. So he's picking and choosing his options like Shield very small too. Oh, what the? It's dash attack, not enough. Somehow yet. did not kill. Great DI. Ooh, tries to. Call, call out the up be understandable. Uh -huh. oh, so. Neither of these characters are going to be killing off grabs. Okay, gets down so there. going to no be pure frame, attacking. Yep. Oh, sure. the neutral air? Okay. Yeah, meets meet him at the peak. Hits him with the nair because there's no hitbox at that point. And he's oh, one game away from taking it. Yeah, Jackal one game away from taking the first Gamer Nook weekly tournament. First of hopefully many to come. Indeed. But Con Con, he got the ability to bring it back. But we're gonna be seeing the Politan though. Oh, another another character that I definitely forgot he, he had. The the female representation in Con Con's character list is so strong, and I respect yeah. the hell out of that. Stays true to it. Mm -hmm. uh, but right now, gets a quick dare string, gets up to the ledge. I, okay. Random F because you know why not? Random side <laughs> Is, let is, cook, Connor let is, cook. Connor's just in his I don't care right now. I'm oh. just trying to hit you, and if I do, then I'm going to hit you again. I need to take some notes because I've been trying to VOD review Palu. So, because I've been, because I'm, I'm working on the Palu, so I got to nice. take some notes here. Oh, yeah, definitely. Because I do not want to go 1 2 again. <laughs> but it's all good, it's all good. Um, yeah, so Con, far, it's all good. Con holding a slight lead right now. Uh, has, has a little bit of stage control, but that F till is definitely going to get punished. Yeah. Yeah. Good, good, good baiting on the aggressive landings from Jackal, but then tries to get a little aggressive himself. Does pay off. Gets him off stage. Calls, oh. calls out the rec high recovery with up beat. Crazy call out right there. And, right. Uh, uh oh, a little bit of a flub there. Yeah, but, but hey, he's back. He gets able grabbed. to, I mean, not instantly die from it, but he is in a bit of a disadvantageous position. Yeah, but gets in there. Ooh, jump, oh. jumps into the side B, and that is going to do it first time with Jackal. Just gets caught up there. A little bit unfortunate, but you know, it happens. And yeah, there is a lot of different kill options here. You're going to try to go for the up smash, which, I mean, if you're able to get the timing down, it's really good. Yeah. But I think, for yeah. the most part, most Palus like doing like, the down tilts. Yeah, know, the it. down tilt two-frame is definitely like good, but... Um, I don't think you can like drop off an air. Uh, you... Head if you do like the ledge slip like drop down, but like even then it might get called out by Cloud Up B because the box is pretty pretty big. Yeah, that's uh, true. But Con Con taking the uh, Jackal's first stock, still not the best position for him, but he's able to reset and get the like get the lead, get the strings like he did in uh, the start yeah. of the game. Could definitely bring this back. I mean, Con Con's one neutral air win away from just like bringing this back to even. And here we go, we're back to even. Oh, no, no oh. jump from Jackal, but isn't able to. He's able to catch it before he grabs the ledge. Another Nair. I like the attempt to down here. I like the ambition, but yeah, I mean, it's hard like, to get the timing down. Yeah, Jackal recovering high is definitely a possibility there. And because even though he missed, he really didn't get, he didn't get really punished for it. Uh, it's going to lift the back here, but barely. Yeah, I think Cloud back here is really good at calling out um, jumping habits. Definitely. So you want to make sure you're staying somewhat grounded. And not just always Ooh. jumping, you know what I mean? Very, very risky up beat. Jackal yeah, just get punished, but does not get the grab. He's accidentally turned around. You unfortunately are not able to grab people behind you. That would be crazy. Right? <laughs> Imagine. Yeah. Uh, but Jackal possibly one game away from taking the tournament. Ooh. There he goes. Catches the directional air dodge with the up smash. That's what, what I like to see. What that timing has gotten down. Even stock game. Ooh, get, dash just grabbed in there, but just gets hit by the last hit, so a little, little neutral interaction is going on. Trying, people are trying to find their opening. Yeah. Yep, Jack was getting those up -bees. Not punish that as easily as you think. Uh -oh. Fair back air on the turnaround. Oh, around. I like it. Gets I the respect parry down tail. Jackal just hitting him right now. Jackal, Jackal kind of cooking, man. He kind of, he's kind of cooking. He's feeling himself Gets the sure. up -bee. 
Power Con, not in a great position. He needs to find his opening, but you can, Cloud is definitely a character you can't overextend on because, jeez, he's barely run under the neutral beam. Yeah. And now he's got limit. That's it, yeah. F tilt, and that is going to do it. All right. Congratulations to Jackal for taking it 3-1 and winning the first ever. The first of hopefully many to come. Definitely. Yeah, Gamer every Netflix Wednesday. Mm -hmm. Every Wednesday in Tom's River, New Jersey. You can check out the information at the bottom there. Uh-huh. Yeah, man. Uh, and Diddy, thanks for coming through hey. to save me for, for Grand yeah. Finals, hey, man. you know what? Why not? Diddy, Diddy comes. Thanks for chilling the whole time. You, you did a great you. job, brother. Nah, I talk a lot. I talk a lot. So yeah, yeah. You, did, you did a great job. Daily so, company. yeah, that, that's going to be the first Gamer Nook Weekly under our belts. Mm -hmm. And, uh, yeah. yeah, I guess that's all we got. We'll see you it here next fun, week. Man. All right, much love to everyone in chat. Later. Hope you all. Have a great rest of your night, and uh, yeah, we're gonna take off. Shouts to VGBC for hosting us, and uh, yeah, see y'all. See y'all.